uh, key matchups there for us, Paul. And there's been a, a push and shove down go. here. Here we go. They're still the centre half forward for the Sharks. The diggers yeah. going to try and exert their. their yeah. And in goes uh, Morris as well for the Sharks, giving him a bit of what for. Yeah, Morris and Gleeson going at it. Tyquin, stay out of so that. Tyquin. Is good to yeah, see. Tyquin, you spent 15 still minutes still on the bench last week. week. Yeah. He did. That was the turning point, too. So there's a bit of heat here early. And we've got yeah, uh, uh, set up well, here. They've pushed are we going to have an interchange out. already? Yeah, it looks like Morris is coming off. Yeah, all right. Well, well that's, that's a blood rule, is it? No, it's a quick interchange. Quick interchange. Oh, they're playing. Mixing it up. So Dukes just keep it. Oh, it wasn't uh, Morris, it was Caldone. Yeah, and, and he brought uh, Feeton on. Feeton comes on. So. I like that, that kid, Dill Feeton. Yeah, he's, he's, a good he's got a lot of talent. And Paul's man, one of them, uh, Canolo on the wing. Yeah. Now let's hope he can run the game out. That's right. Might have to just. There's the siren yeah, for the there. seniors preliminary final. Diggers rest and Rupo. The rucks go at it. No one got a clear tap. Oh, Swallow gets man. his head taken off immediately. That's He's going to get the early. first kick. Canolo's on the spread for him. He looks in that direction but goes wider still and he finds a teammate. And that is Feeton who just came on before the bounce. He goes on the left towards half forward. Egan's down there for the ruckman for Burroughs. And uh, tackled hard were the Sharks. Here they go. Burroughs diving in on top of it. Podlezak's down there. Now it comes out towards Canola. Is the ball going to sit for him? No, the boundary line's going to beat him. So a good, strong start oh, yeah. there. Yeah, good swallow head over the footy, wouldn't crack it? Crack it in. I like it. Uh, like the first 10 see. minutes of every final is the best 10 minutes. Got to see him crack it in here. The Burrows all want to try and exert some physical Absolutely. dominance. Absolutely. The ball's Rup. thrown in. Muir went over the top, missed it. Comes out to Morton. He waited oh, for it a little bit. Good attack by Chambers. Picked up from where he left off last week. In underneath there is Muir Lockie. He gets a hand pass out. Now comes out to Musket. He's tackled immediately. And the heat is definitely on early on in this game. Actually, yeah, we mate. called Musket as Brendan yeah, Chambers that's, before. That's and, uh, Musket. He's Musket. gone in nice and hard yep. twice already. Rux will go at it again. Muir just gets rid of his opponent. Ball hits the deck. Muir goes after it again. Gets it back. Nowhere to go. Handballs oh. blindly goes to Taylor from Diggers. He goes up towards half forward Lawton. Didn't have a great game last week, Lawton, but gets his hands on it early. Goes to Morton. We're going to have a rhyming <laughs> inside Ford 50. Looking for Krull. He can't get to the ball. There's numbers to swirl. Cicero gets the ball towards half forward. Sultana reads yeah, it well. Mark. Takes the mark. Yeah. Plays on quickly. Right foot kick to half forward. Finds Morris. Look at the Morris right on there. quickly. Oh. Hetherington inside Ford 50. First one of the game. Yes, great call, Gav. First one for the Sharks. And speed wins games and of footy. Two minutes in, Rupo, one straight six. Diggers rest, yes, to score on the yeah. Melton Toyota Masson Rangers glass scoreboard. Got to be really, really careful. Off half back, they are lightning, Rupert's Wood, and they just opened yeah. up then. And Hetherington, if they're going to Sultana. give Hetherington one bit of space, and young Sultana as yeah. well, they are just going to cut Diggers to bits. Well, he's not going to kick one six this week, we hope, no. because uh, he, was, uh, he just absolutely flew through that half forward line. and. Uh, just a beautiful finish from it just was, inside yeah. 50. Perfect start for the Sharks. Two Good. minutes into the prelim final. Just what Kev Fitzgerald would have ordered. The ball's back in the middle. Egan goes up against Muir. Egan got the tap to Hetherington. Here we go again up towards half forward. A lot of Burroughs jumpers getting held maybe, not paid. In and under again. Comes out to the Burroughs. They go directly to the boundary line. How's the umpire going to see this? It sits up on its end. It doesn't quite go out. And now it Guys, does. Guys, that is still in Pottles, Zach. He is out there. So have we got a miraculous recovery? Hang on, your mail said the year's all over. Well, his brother told me that. So well, where he's is lying. He? He can't stand he's in the just forward, at half forward, yeah. Half forward. So that could be a big news story there. Muir gets the tap over the back. Coming through was Lockie Muir. Had a great game last week. Kicks it up towards oh, Sultana, but a good mark over the top. Uh, taken deep in defence. And they've got a man loose, left half back. It's Tyquin. Man who got sent off last week. Left foot kick up towards Lawton. Couldn't take it on the second grab. Came down, now it's Swallow. Turns and goes, those fluoro boots up towards half forward. Getting back, oh, oh nearly a good mark, oh, Sultana. taken he, high. Yeah, he got one high and the umpire called yeah, it. Good call, no, it was ball. nothing dirty in it, it yep. was just... Head over the footy, and then the other player took it. was Pottlesack yeah. who got him with the hip. So it's a good call, and it'll be a free kick to the, uh, the Burroughs. That's a way to rub soccer wounds. Still, Put the uh, ball in front of him. He's not well he's at all. He's taking his time to get up. So uh, well, nice team so, work yeah, to just, uh, throw uh, the uh, ball at him. Throw yeah. the ball at him. Get up, young fella. You yeah. can't sleep so there. So it's uh, going to be taken on left half back. He chips it short, and he finds uh, that Hine out there. 
he looks to go over the top again. So just chipping their way. Lawton takes another mark. Presenting really well, yep. Lawton, to yeah. the start of the game. He, is. he, was, he was quiet last he's, week. He's, he's presenting very, he's, very high on this ground. Yeah, he's leading Halliwell. Pops and, it over uh, the top, finds Morton. Digger's just trying to build up here. He'll find Stewie Clark coming up from half forward. Clark now looking to set up, get the ball inside forward 50. He goes over the top, finds Taylor. Taylor now will set up. That's Tom Taylor for Digger's rest. He will look to get the ball inside the 50 out towards Evans. He flies, can't take the mark. Ball on the deck as Rupert's would just push it towards the boundary line and we'll have a throw in right in front of the Digger's Rest coaching box. It is Rupo, one straight six. Digger's Rest yet to score five minutes into this opening quarter. What's well, good for the borough is uh, Carl Morton's had a couple he of possessions has. and uh, yep. been important possessions. Trucks go at it again, down towards Lockie Muir. He can't take the ball. It's belted by Musket towards Hetherington. He keeps it in towards Sultana at half forward and Toddy Pottlezak. He can't pick the football up, slug it. Feeds it back to Tyquin. He feeds it out to Langford, who's got Gleason on in the middle. Gleason, low kick Whoa. towards half forward. Morton overruns it, picked up by Cicero. He bombs it inside, Ford 50. Foot race back now, Todd Pottlezak. Tom Gleason, Gleason overruns it, opens the door oh. for Pottlezak. Does well, recovers, gets the ball, feeds it back to Paddy Jackson, and Jackson will relieve. And they're out on the outer side. I think it's Clark out there who has it. He chips up short, and he finds McCabe. Down on that outer side, under the scoreboard. Diggers rest going forward now. Up towards half forward, it's a bad oh, kick, kick, and it's uh, taken deep there by Muir, I think, the Ruckman. He goes short, oh, gave uh, Canola a lot of work to do. It's mopped up by the Burrows. They've got Lobb running out wide. They go wider still, and they find Kroll. He's uh, 70 out from goal. It's a Ball little kick. dribbler of a kick to Lobb. He's got players on inside. He Great finds kick. one in Mick Evans. 45 out. Yeah. That's, what, that's where Lobb's so important. He's such a good decision maker with Absolutely. the ball in Absolutely. Just took his time and uh, assessed his options. He's played a lot of footy here, Jamie Lobb. So Mick Evans, with his first look at the goals. Beautiful kick of the footy, Mick Evans. Man bun too, just to yes. keep you all involved. <laughs> like the umpire. Yep, a lot of man buns out here So this is today. Uh, for their first of the afternoon. Mick Evans comes in right on the paint of 50. It's a beautiful looking kick. And it's yeah. there. A great kick by Mick Evans. And uh, Diggers rest first. They go to one straight six. It's all squared up here. One goal apiece. Sound of the crowd, mate. There's a big uh, Diggers contingent here today. Sounds yep. like someone's got clappers. <laughs> it's got what? Cl not the clap. Oh. Clappers. <laughs> Glad you clarified that. All right, let's just get back on track. <laughs> Seven minutes gone. First quarter. One straight six apiece on the Melton Toyota Masson Rangers glass scoreboard. Yeah, great start from both sides here. The it diggers. was, and this is, see, diggers are going for a ploy here. They're actually going very, very wide around they the boundary are. line, trying to keep the corridor all blocked up. So uh, I don't mind it because they just built up really well and used their foot skills, and they've got some key players that use yeah. the ball so well as the, uh, it'll come out of the middle through the Sharks. Hetherington again, dominant early, inside Ford 50, yeah. and there's the bread and butter of Tom Gleeson. Cuts it off, again. takes the mark. He's got a player in space. That's Evans. Evans takes the mark. He looks to chip it over the top. Uh, it's a poor kick. Chambers yep. cuts it off. Let right foot kick oh, inside 50 hit. is a beauty. He finds his They've teammate. players running in Cannon. now. Cannon now. He winds up, goes inside forward 50, looking for a teammate and feet and can't take the mark. Tyquin cleans it up. Slug it will clear and he will find Langford out on that half back line. Langford just lets the ball oh, bounce. Yeah. He's been Langford wrapped up straight high. away, but it's yep. high. And Langford will get the free kick. Uh, Feeton should have taken that mark, didn't he? Yeah, he should have. As they go quickly now to the Burrows. Look to bring it up towards the wing. No one can take the mark. Still at ground level in dispute. Cicero dives on top. I think the umpire will ball this up. Right on true centre wing. And we've gone uh, eight minutes into the first quarter. Yeah. One goal apiece. And I tell you, Diggers will be thrilled with this because they stopped yep. them getting a couple of That's early right. goals. They just want to scrap it up a little bit and then they, to get a score on the board themselves. Oh, and it's a free, free kick. kick. Oh, yeah, Rucks go at it. It's been pinged holding the ball. And this is what Diggers want. They want stoppage yes. after stoppage. That's right. And then they'll use their foot skills. There's a free kick now. We'll go to Corey Wright. Pulled very well in the bow and metal. Oh. He chips it in board. It gets past McCabe. He's skillful. Oh, Low. Kroll takes the mark. 55 metres out from goal. Yeah, got Probably too far. Yeah, he's got, but he's got a player square. at the back. Mick Evans all by himself. Kroll's gone well oh, over his head and it's out of kick. bounds. That Bad was a kick. terrible kick. Yeah. You could see him running down there. I mean, the man yep. bum was there running down. And 
you just had to, all you had to do was just put it up for him in space and he just yep. kicked it over his head out just of bounds. It, so. so boundary throw in, Diggers attacking 50. They would love another one here. The ball goes in, Krull in the ruck, knocks it down over Halliwell. Oh. Evans out of the pack, snap is a point. It's been Evans. dangerous, Evans got the goal and yes. he's had a few shots. 1-1-7, one, one, Diggers rest, one goal, Rupertswood, nine and a half minutes gone, opening quarter. It's Chambers. To yeah. bring it back in. And look at Diggers choking up the corridor here. They're yeah. going to try and they're going to push Rupo out wide here. So yeah, full ground press from the yeah, bar. That's right. So Chambers just waiting for someone to present. Got nowhere to go. Two lines. Goes out to the far side. Three on one. Yeah. But uh, the one did pretty well. Brought it to ground. Now the Burrows have it. Over the top. Clark. Lawton's in there as well. But uh, the Sharks doing well here. Sort of fumbling around. Kick up the ground. It, danger, yeah, yeah. in danger. So they'll get out of trouble here. Will the Sharks? A sore finger right, right on that there. far side, yeah, absolutely. They sting, and here they go up towards the wing. That's a oh, that's poor, a poor kick. Bounds, isn't it? That is a bad kick. It's bounced inside, so it'll be a throw in. Gee, Lawton's working hard. He's pushing both sides yeah, of the is. ground, presenting for the borough. Yeah, he's yep. been really good at the start yep. of the game, which is they need someone to be able to do that leading up of the football because that was their problem last week. As the boundary throwing comes in again, the Ruckman will go at it. One down there by Egan. Well done by Brandon Kilty. St strong in the tackle. Feeds the ball out wide. Oh, looking for a team. And he's been wrapped up. Mick yes, Evans holding, is the ball. holding the ball. Gee, they're having a crack. On the, I mean, the pressure of the level of this football is enormous at the moment. Morris has got the free kick for the Sharks. He'll look to drive them forward. Has it got much up for, up in front at the moment? The bar is just choking it up. It's going to go long to a contest. Ooh. Players fly ball, hits the deck. Kicker McCabe can't clean that up. Hetherington with his head over the football. He's wrapped up straight away. We'll have a bounce right on centre wing. Diggers 1-1-7. Rupert's with one goal. Macedon Rangers glass. Mount Toyota scoreboard. Yeah, the ball's thrown up again. Both rucks got hands to it, but comes out the back to Sultana. Left foot kick, and he finds a target, does he? No, it's out on the full. So it's going to be McCabe to take the free kick between wing and half back for the He's had a bit of the ball earlier. Last week he was non-existent. Cool. Today he's, he's gone around one. He nearly dropped the up. ball and he's uh, in a lot of trouble here. He's got help there. Slug it. It's slug it. Hair passes it back and uh, might be Evans again. He chips it back to Tyquin. So I've got to go back to go forwards here. The Burrows goes deeper still. And I think that uh, is Jackson. Hair passes it back again to Tyquin. They're in a bit of trouble oh, that's here. That's bad. a bad that kick, a just a shit. space. Jackson's got a bit of work to do now. He picks it up cleanly. Oh, got one is. high. No, he ducked into it, the umpire said. No, and that's a turnover. There is Pottlezak. The miraculous recovery. He chips in short and he finds Todd. So no, he's that's 45 a bit of brotherly now. love. <laughs> that's right. And it's amazing to see Dylan Pottlezak out there playing. That's where the bar if the Barrows want to win this contest, they can't afford yes. to no. make defensive errors That's like right. that. Tyquin tried the kick out into space. He should have just used the hands over the top to Jackson. Should've. Then Jackson's kick was just poor. It was, poor, it was a direct it? turnover. Yep. Dylan Pottlezak finds Todd, who Here will come goes. in. 45 metres out, 45 degree angle. Kick is on oh its way. He's just he let back at it. on it, didn't he? And, uh, he Kicks like his old man. It's dribbled out of bounds and we'll have a throw in. Oh, about four metres out from the, uh, four metres around from the Sharks goal. But yeah. you just, both sides just a, a couple of shocking kicks. Yeah, we saw uh, that. That's right. It's a comedy of errors. That was a torpedo straight in the foot. <laughs> Don't know what happened. He, he just let Looks right like his foot slipped from under him and he's back to kick it. Rucks go at it oh, again. Oh, it's a push straight yeah, out. Someone shut that. Oh, it's over. Snap. Feeton snap it. Goal. Oh, He's missed it. Yeah, Great effort by Dylan Feeton. Something out of nothing, nearly. 1-1-7 one, one, apiece. 13 minutes gone. Yep. Opening quarter. And McKay yeah, brings it out straight away. He finds Aitken. He turns and goes up to the wing. He finds a target. Out wide. Clark. Low spearing ball up ahead. And he finds... Um, his teammate, no, it's going to bounce over the line for Short a throw Egan's in. Sean getting around the ground yeah. really well at the moment. He is. He's, uh, that's a good We're ruck keeping battle. Keeping an eye on Carl Morton. He's running up and down in the middle of the ground, virtually by himself, screaming for footy. It's like they're not even looking. I know there's not much of yeah. him. Yeah, but has um, <laughs> Cicero running with him at the moment as the rucks will go at it again. Right half forward, diggers rest, attacking end of the ground. One down there by Muir, two Muir. He's up, put his head over the football again. Langford comes out, picks the football up, gives it to Lobb, dodges through two. He almost gets taken out. Lockie Muir goes back, gets it again. Feeds a handball out to a teammate. They're just building up Cannon. He just overshot the handball. Goes towards Morton. Cicero oh, wow. marks. 
And Cicero plays on quickly, gives it to Chambers. He just waltzes through the middle of Clark Oval. He's done that before. Kicks stuck forward. Oh. Ball over the back. Dylan Featon read it well. Puts the kick on its way low. Oh, he's oh, hit, the, he's post. hit the, post. the post. The fat yeah. bit. Jason Dunster would be turning yeah. over at the moment. I mean, you, you kick through the ball. You don't do these he rubbish, bloody things along the ground. Though. He yeah. could have two bounces. He could have run right to the goal. It's played on quickly. Corey Wright takes the mark. He plays on into the middle of the ground. Lob. Jamie Lobb takes the mark. Yeah. Not oh, sure if he's going to do. There's a 50 metre penalty. No, There's it's a, a free kick down, down the field. ground. So free. It's going to go to Freeth. Mark Freeth. Got to get it in quick. Massive last week. He's going to put a ball to the top of the square to Krull in a one-on-one. -on -one. Chambers peels off. Krull gets up at the football. Can't oh. take the mark. Down is Aitken. Oh. He tries to storm through. Pressure in there. Toe poke from Chambers. Ball pops out. K gets a clearing kick towards half back. But Egan. Egan can't take the mark. Ball hits the deck. He'll feed back to Lob. Lob sets up Tyquin. Tyquin left foot kick inside forward 50. Oh, K will yeah, take the mark. Disposal. Yes, yeah, good intercept mark by K. Gee, both teams are wasting some opportunities, they are aren't they? Butchering it going forward, and he brings it out back to Egan. He, oh, he dropped what he should have taken, and it's uh, taken a ground level by Sultana. Goes quickly, but uh, it finds uh, Lob, and he goes and chips it again to McKay. But is Lob here? Yeah. So he's got Muir to contend with. He hand passes in now, and this is Thank better you. play by the yeah. Diggers boys and they find Mick Evans again. Beautiful work by yeah. Taylor then. Lo uh, Lob just yep. saw him come past and then beautiful. Rupo are pushing their defenders very, very deep and leaving that little bit of a hole and both times Diggers had shots of goal for about 40 metres out. And we spoke about this before the game. That takes Chambers out of the yep. contest. So Mick Evans, he's going to have to kick this from outside 50. Very, very kickable goal for Mick. Yep. Well, his first kick was from the about the same yep. distance, other side of the um, 50 metre yep. arc. And he comes... Just beyond 50, ball's on its way. Has it got the legs? Oh, Not sure. quite. Chambers over the top with a punch through for a behind. They're going to have to, uh, Rupert are going to have to be a bit careful with that, leaving that hole open for him to run into. Mick Evans has Digger's entire score, one goal, two. <laughs> there you go. So it's going to be Chambers to bring the ball back in from full back. He's got Canolo short if he wants him, not even looking or considering it. Goes long. Up the guts. Egan's going to crash this pack. He does. Gets the fist down towards Morton. Oh, oh he help. fumbled that. Got to be better there. Lockie Muir gets on the end of it. And uh, he's got teammates running. Oh, big, nearly in danger again. Yes, it is. So the umpires uh, paid that uh, the way of the diggers' rest side. And they go up to Taylor. Over the top. Couldn't take the mark. Recovers quite well. Turns on his left. Deep into the pocket to Kroll. And he takes it on the second Aiken. bite. Uh, Aiken, so Aiken sorry. Mark. So... Geez, T Taylor's been good early. Oh, absolutely. So but they are getting forced wide to have some shots, and these are difficult pockets to tick goals from. I don't think Diggers will be too fussed about that because, as we said, if they go long to the top of the square, that's where Chambers is going to cut them off. So as Aiken, Aiken comes in, right foot kick Missed on its it. way. It's going to push across the face, not going to make the distance. Oh. Everyone competes. Quick snap out oh, of midair no. from Lockie Langford goes through for a behind. They've Diggers just take the front. The trick to this ground, when you get to the half forward line, you are well, you've got to bring it to that hot spot on this ground. It's the only way you're going to oh, kick goals. Dangerous kick in as well. It's going to be brought back inside 50 by the Burroughs. Freeth's waiting. Is he going to jump over the top? He did. Now it's Mick Evans on the left 40. Snaps but misses. He's got the whole score, hasn't he? <laughs> one, no, the uh, last one was Langford. Langford so, yep, so one, one, one three two. to Mick Evans oh, as yeah. diggers go to one four ten. Rupo one two eight on the Macedon Rangers glass. Melton Toyota scoreboard. Seventeen minutes and forty five seconds into this first quarter. Jeez, a nice tight contest. I didn't expect this. Yeah, I thought Rupo would have jumped out of the blocks. And they've had their chances, Rupo. Oh, let's be honest. Diggers have got it on their terms. Absolutely. Nash Egan to bring the ball back in. Good press here for Diggers rest. Egan. Long kick out towards half-back. Players will fly. Halliwell and Egan. Egan smashes it forward. Lockie Muir, great front and centre. Puts the ball on its boot towards half-forward. Sport by Ruan. Well done, oh. Feet and Feeds back towards Canolo. Canolo fumbles. Players just diving in again. Corey Wright feeds the ball out in front of Brandon Kilty. He can't get the ball. It's knocked forward by Hetherington. He's going to pick the football up. He's got to step around, Egan. Right foot kick down the line. Tom Taylor cuts oh. it off. He's Taylor on. plays on, left foot kick down the line, looking for Egan, finds him. Egan Thank plays you. on, Tom Taylor again, inside forward, oh. 50, can, Chambers can cut this one off, Crow does oh. well, oh, Chambers he's... tried to claim it, it hit the ground, Ch Brady, yeah, and it's wrapped it, up, and we're going to have Freddy a bounce. was trying to con the umpire yeah, then, but that ball did hit the ground. 
Yeah, just great work chopping off in front. Good play by Taylor, though. Yeah, it was. He started really well, Taylor. Balls inside 50 for the Burrows, but Hetherington's not having any of that. Takes it off half back and just bombs it out towards Todd Pottlezak. Can he get out the back here? He's going to have to beat a couple. He's doing pretty oh, well. Oh, he's holding the man up. And, uh, oh, yeah, he's found it. Yep, he Pull the jumper back Tyquin. like that. As soon as you see that jumper stretch, you're in so trouble. Tyquin takes the kick. He brings it out wide. A little bit of a... No, he's coming back. Yeah. You'd be a little disappointed as a Rupo coach because they they're they coming in the lead. Pottlesack one out, but there's no speed around him to run into goal. That's right. Tyquin goes up the guts. He finds Kilty, Brandon. Uh, still in defence. Taylor's on in the middle of the ground. He is. He's got his hands up. He's not going to get it. Kilty goes one way, then the other. Decides to go out to the far side. And he hits a target. Josh Wallace. That's uh, Wallace, his first look at it this afternoon. Going to go up the line again. One on one. Good work there. It's, uh, the Rupo plays dive on top, locking it in Cicero, and they'll have a ball up. Well, contrary to our comments early in the day when we said speed would beat Brains, at the moment Brains has got covered, speed it's, covered at the moment. It's still early at the moment, though. Uh, I mean, Diggers, this is going to be a taxi style of yeah. game as the Rucks go at it again. Crow wins it down around the stoppages, though. Diggers are dominating. Down towards half forward. They've got the numbers again. Aiken should have marked that. It's oh, picked up tackle. well. Tackle. Great tackle. Great backup. Aiken feeds it backwards. Clark tries to take him on. Chambers just knocks it down yeah. and it goes out of bounds. We'll He's the it ultimate him. profession when they're in and, in and tight. He'll just tap it out and do yeah. what he can. Musket gets stuck into Stewie Clark. As we'll have the ball come in, it's 52 metres out from the Diggers' rest goal. And they have dominated the stoppages so far. Krull versus Halliwell. No one really wins it clear. Hetherington gets a kick up towards half-back. McCabe, mark. too good. good mark. You have to watch Kega. He's a good player. McCabe will swing on to that left, as he always does. Inside 50, chiseling ball. Canolo gets a finger on it. Lawton does well, feeds Aiken. Aiken over the top to Wright. Wright just feds off the tackle, tries to feed it forward. As uh, players dive in, Taylor wraps up his opponent. Morris tries to feed it forward. It's only Brandon Kilty there. He kicks to the top of the square. Crow flies, can't take the mark. Ball hits the deck. Mick Evans swings the ball out wide. Freeth there. Feeton feeds Hetherington, and Hetherington will clear. Yes, and he goes up towards the middle of the ground. Tyquin swallow, but it's uh, taken oh. by Cannon in the centre of the ground. It's the a ball. throw. He didn't control it, just fumbled it away. And it's going to be Ryan to take it. He goes out wide to uh, Morton. And he takes the mark on centre wing on the far side. So, two-point lead. Diggers rest, and we're 21 and a half minutes into the first. Won't go much longer. And Morton goes long and strong. That's a strong mark taken in on the far side by Langford. And he goes short again, and it's Taylor. He's had plenty of it in the first quarter. He's going to have leather poisoning. And he's going to... Yeah, just this is where Krull needs to get here. way back and be an option for him. So uh, this Rubo, oh, and he's found a target. Lawton, 45 Jesus, out. He's a good user, Tom Taylor. Oh, yeah. He is. He's really stepped up. He's been BAG by a streak here at the moment this yep, quarter, that's absolutely. for sure. So Lawton will take it, 45 out, no angle to speak of. And this for a handy little buffer. That's that, that's that awkward distance here at Sunbury, and they're kicking into the breeze, don't forget. He's led up, again, Lawton, just led up yep. really, really well yep. there. But it's uh, going to take his best kick. It will. It was a big kick from here. Here it comes. Just a little stutter. Here he goes on 50. Gives it a right. It looks like it's right. Yeah. It stays right. Look at Rupo, as much as they don't want to turn it over, they'd be happy to be having diggers shooting quick, from 45 out. Yep, they get it away quickly, do the Sharks. And that's Canolo driving it up towards the wing. Good uh, positioning by Tyquin. Recovers well on the left. Great kicks kick. it over the top and a great find. And he gets it to um, Josh Wallace, who spears it over the top of the goal square. So that's quarter time, which sees Diggers Rest 1 5 11, leading Rupertswood 1 2 8 uh, of the prelim final. That's and on the Macedon Rangers glass scoreboard yep, and the Melton Toyota scoreboard. So, yes, thanks very much to those guys. and uh, Goal kickers, mate. Goal We've kickers. We've got Evans, one for yep. Diggers Rest. We've got Hetherington, who's got one for Rupo. Best players so far, I reckon, so this quarter. Oh, I was really impressed with Langford. I thought he was fantastic. Taylor. Taylor, Taylor was well really good. Yeah. I mean, they were working very hard. Lawton was really good. Even Carl Morton came in. Look over the other side of the ledger. Hetherington was really, really dangerous. Up around him. Brady Chambers, as per usual, was, was good. Pottlezak, Toddy. And Dylan both um, uh, presented, but yeah. Dylan, uh, Dylan needs to play a little bit deeper. I mean, they need a bit more speed around his brother, around yeah. the goals. 
Lockie on that Hill quarter, I reckon Diggers Rest, um, even though they're in front of the scoreboard, they were well up on the game play. Yep, so Diggers Rest going to quarter time. Three points to the good of Rupo. Yeah. They would have been much One more comfortable with that. Uh, even so, it's fallen into the hands of Simsy, what he wanted for him. And uh, Rupo have got their work cut out. They're going to have to try and open this up somehow. They are. So and it's not that hard to open it up, guys. He's just got to go wider <laughs> and then come back in. But they're, they're playing right. into the hands of root diggers at the moment. Kick to grass, as they say. Yeah, Dylan, kick uh, to the grass is the phrase. Yep, Dylan Pottlezak on a wing with Hind. And, uh, <laughs> big short Egan to do battle in the ruck against Muir. Here we go for the second quarter. Egan gets the first tap. Straight down the ground and comes out to Brandon Kildy. Dodges one, hacks it on the boot towards half forward. Clark running at it, couldn't take it. On the bounce and mopping up is Canolis. And he comes out wide, does Cicero to Pottlezak. A lot of work oh, to do. Great. What a mark, mark. What a crawl. He got upended. Yeah, but he, that's a no, tunnelling session. He was that able well. to hold the mark. He's 70 out from goal. He's got... Uh, just pop it to the top of the square. Who's going to jump and fly? Oh, and it's Freddie a good Chambers. mark, Chambers. Captain How often Reliable does he do that? Back. He is Mr. Reliable, that's for sure. Chambers goes out wide to half back. It's just to space, as we've said, and he gets it out of bounds for a throw in. Yeah, but at least look, they're, pushing the, they're pushing Rupo wide, but if you yep. push him wide, it's also going to give him space to run. I think you hit it on the head, Gav. How long, how long can diggers hold up this pressure? If they can do it in four quarters, they're going to win the yeah, game. They've but got to put scoreboard pressure on before it, yeah. it does open up. But they've had six scoring shots to three, so they had so inside fifties on their terms, and they're going to go back in in a sec. Kilty comes away from the stoppage again. Diggers dominating these stoppages. Ball short, finds Mick Evans. Half forward, had a lot of the footy in the first quarter. Kick one, three to open the game. He goes inside forward, 50. Oh, Brandon Kilty's oh. done beautifully. Yeah, he pushed up. Pushed up not by himself by and uh, himself it's out to McCabe and he's taken the slips catch yeah. and he will go back and kick from 30 metres out, 25 metres out directly in front and Kegan McCabe won't generally miss these. No, yeah. he's been around too long to miss these. That's a good sign with Kilty pushing up yeah. forward. And, and Caldone got caught out then. I mean, McCabe pushed forward to goals and then work, worked his way back. Kegger puts it on its way. It's no, across no, the he's face. Missed he's it. missed. We've See, these are the opportunities him. diggers have got yeah, to take. One goal six. One six, 12. Rupo, one, two, eight, two minutes into this opening quarter, uh, second quarter. Yes, and Chambers to bring it back in for the Sharks. Where is he going to go? He's looking at this near side. There's not a lot of movement for no, him, is there? No, it's pretty stagnant at the moment. Here he goes, plays onto himself, kicks it long to the outer side, looking for Muir, dropped what he should have taken. Now the Borough, they're putting all the pressure on, comes out to Evans, shovels a hand pass out wide. Now they're just going to go for goal. It's on its way. It's punched on the line. Gee, it was a Could good nearly effort. Shuffled it yep. shu uh, nearly shepherded through. Shepherded through. It's great effort then. by Stewie Clark. Yeah, Stewie Clark. He's a dangerous prospect up there, that's for sure. But one goal, seven. Yeah, they need to take these opportunities. Come back Aren't to they tying them? them up? I mean, there's just yeah. even Brady Chambers. got nowhere to go yeah, here at the right. moment. There's no movement at all for him. Chambers brings it back in. Low oh. kick. It's a shock. And up. that's what happens when, there's, there's, when you're under that much pressure... And none of your midfielders are moving. They're just being a bit lazy here, Rupo. Taylor's taken the mark. He's been in everything so yeah. far. He'll have to kick from outside 50. It'll take a massive kick, but he is a good ball user. Oh, so that's too far. He yeah. is trying to pass the look to pass the ball off. Kicks long now from outside, right on the paint of 50, top of the square. Oh, oh, he's got it. Manny Kroll takes leaps of the football, takes a great mark. And he will go back 12 metres out on a slight angle and should put through the oh. Borough's second goal. They've stopped running, Rupo. They have just fed him gone stagnant. Yeah, there's well, no if, run out of half-back, is well, there? If Brady Chambers got the ball full back and there was nothing moving for him no. and no one's prepared to push into space or create space, that's a real worrying sign for the Sharks. And this is what Kroll does well. The big clunk. Now can he finish? Comes in. Deliberate approach. Right foot kick is on its way. It's a goal. And the Burroughs kick their second. They move on to 2-7. 2-7-19. Uh, Rupertswood 1-2-8. Three minutes, 45 seconds gone in the second quarter. I mean, the scoreboard's not a huge... It's actually the way it's being done, and that's probably more concerning for Rupe than than um, the scoreboard because they have just fed him flat-footed. They get they beaten are. around the contest, which is their strength. They get an outrun, which is their strength. And they're just and blazing out They're just defense. blazing away, and, yep. and, and they're just not working hard enough. Yeah, so it's a interesting stage here. It's a 11-point ball game to Diggers. So inaccurate, but they've yeah. still got the lead. Four and it's the Diggers' tools which are causing them, causing the problems. Yeah, they are. Yep, Egan, Kral, I mean, they're, they're just out marking Yes, them. even Aitken down there at times. And the ball's back in the middle. 
What can the Sharks respond with? Egan gets the tap down for the Burrows. Comes out to Swallow. Haven't caught him enough for the Sharks liking. He kicks it out towards half forward. Leading the foot race out there is Gleeson. He's got a couple to beat. The Banerjee might beat everyone. And Gleeson just gives a little shove in the back, but nothing in it. And, and, throw and in. you just saw in that centre bit there when... when um, Swallow had the ball. He was looking out wide for players to push out wide, which is where they play their foot in. There was nothing for him to go to. He had to blaze into a flank. Yeah, absolutely. So the ball to be brought back in. 65 out from the Sharks' goal. Muir got the tap. Comes out now to Evans on the left. Hooks it up towards the wing. Looking for Morton. Couldn't take it. Good spoil, but there's a free kick. kick. He's going to get it. So he's between wing and half back. Looking for the switch, but there's nothing on offer in midfield. Here he goes. Up towards the half four. Oh, good mark. Oh, not paid. And the Sharks get it at ground level, but it's chopped off by that man Taylor again. Now the Sharks have got to be desperate. They've got to get in there. There's a trip, yeah. and it's going the way of Rupert's Wood. So a bit of a let off. Lockie Muir takes it out on the outer side. Muir finds a teammate, centre wing, looking to build some momentum. The kick down Whoa. the line. Morris flies over the top of Evans. Ball hits a deck. Hetherington picks it up. Oh, Burst from the contest. One bounce. Carries towards the 50, kick inside 50. is a shocker, although Gleeson drops what he should have taken. Paddy Jackson oh, storms well out of defensive 50. Long handball over the top towards Taylor. He gets around to teammates, feeds out wide. Rupert's Wood done enough to force the turnover. Kick goes inside forward 50. Pottlezak versus Sluggett. Pottlezak takes the mark 40 metres out from goal but on a that, slight angle. It's that awkward position where Diggers had trouble kicking yeah. goals. 45 out, yep, you're right, Paul. Take a good kick. Yeah, and, and I mean, as a, as a defender, you don't want to see your forward get it, but if you're going to get it, it's 45 out here with this ground. Yeah. He's probably the spot and kicking. He's got a bit of a breeze behind him, but it's still going to take his best kick. Pottlezak comes in, trots over the 50, kicks from just inside. It's on its way. It's yeah. got the legs, but it's not accurate. And Rupert's Wood on the Macedon Rangers glass melt. Toyota scoreboard move on to 139, Diggers 2719. And they've brought it back in quickly at Diggers, but it's going to come back straight away. Muir, the Ruckman chips it short, but it intercepting was Jackson. Hand passes it off to Sluggett. He spins out of a tackle. McCabe hacks it on the left foot, looking for Clark. But Chambers on centre wing yeah. takes a strong mark, and he goes quickly. A low little spearing ball. Over the top was Cannon. Hand passes it back to Swallow at centre half forward. A spearing ball inside 50. The uh, Diggers rest defence do well through Langford. Hand passes out wide again. And they look to go even wider still. And they find a target. No, the boundary's going to beat them. And it's really obvious now that the height issue for Rupo is starting to come back and bite them on the backside a little bit. They... they I mean, with Putt out, they're losing it around. They've lost their main ruckman. But they haven't got any height. And that's where the diggers rest forwards are actually causing some problems, Storm. Ball one down again around the body. Oh, Inside 50 finds feet. Dylan Featon. Oh, he's dragged to ground. Well. That's going to be a 50. Yes, years. it is. That'll they take Dylan Featon that. right oh, to is... the goal line and give the Rupert's with their second goal of the day. That's that was silly. just sloppy from silly, Tom Gleason. Silly, silly, silly. Yeah, undisciplined footy. And just can't afford to do that. Dylan Featon. Will go all the way to the goal line and he will go back and be able to make this a uh, four point ball game. Which, after all the domination yep. from the Diggers, yep. they just aren't far enough in front as Feet puts it through. Rupo on the Macedon Rangers glass, Mountain Toyota scoreboard moved to 2 3 15. Diggers 2 7 19. There's a smell of bacon wafts up from the canteen oh, to us here, and it's it is fair to come torture. <laughs> Oh, yes, well done. It would be worse. I could have a bar downstairs and the <laughs> smell of beer coming up. <laughs> the sound of tins cracking. Gleeson dragging himself after that 50. Yes, yeah, so it's a, that was a silly one. They didn't need to do that, Gleeson. And it's resulted in ultimate penalty there. Yeah, they worked the really hard, Diggers, and they didn't, yep. haven't had the rewards for their efforts so far. They're all over yep. Rupa at the moment. So ball's back in the middle. Egan winning the majority of the taps, gets it to lob. Nearly got a high one, the up by comes in. And so They're winning the majority of centre clearances. The difference clearances. between last week, when we saw the ruck last week, Riddle dominated the ruck, but they didn't direct the yep. ball anywhere. Yeah. Egan's actually putting the ball in really good spots. And it's knocked out by Muir on that occasion. Evan sharks it in and under his swallows. The dust flies up on the cricket pitch there. And see, Muir doesn't have that luxury of being able to palm down. Because he's shorter, he's got to jump yeah. and just bring it to ground. It's not going to their advantages. Yep. Where... where um, uh, Muir has yep. that advantage. Yep. Krull in the ruck uh, against Muir. Krull wins it. Knocked forward. Lob 
comes at the football, but well cleaned up by Cicero. He clean, kicks down towards half forward. Dylan Featon been dangerous so far. Just knocks the ball well out towards Musket. Musket feeds the handball out wide over the head of Muir. But it will be picked up by Morris. Inside forward 50, Podolzak against Jackson. Podolzak just tries to punch Ooh. it hot. Ball fed back, John Ryan. He will get the clearing kick out towards Evans, who takes it, oh, Lakeford, sorry, takes the mark, plays on quickly. Yeah. Krull on the wing. He takes that mark and plays on as well. Mick Evans down at half forward. Runs, carries to the 50. Steps, long kick towards goal. Freeth in a one-on-one -on -one being held. No, the up high says play on and it's rushed through from behind. Good play by Evans, carrying that ball through. They're just being more patient with use of their use of the footy. Rupo are under pressure, yep. causing the turnovers. Rodriguez is just patient and persistent. Yep, they're back in their defensive 50, the Sharks. Here they go, a bit of run out of their defence. They, they hit just the need to take these opportunities, though, they because do. they're too late. It's going to come back and bite yeah, them. Yeah, so it's smothered, and the Burrows have a chance here. They hand pass it out to McCabe. He's usually a good user, and he's on this occasion. They're dominating general play. They've just got to kick goals now. Yep. And he finds a target out there. I think it's... I mean, realistically, yeah, they should be about five about goals there. up, don't you think? Absolutely, they build, should. And he goes and drills it inside 50, but a poor kick. And it's chopped There's up a man by with the your boots. man. So, Paul's man again. He's got yeah. one in every game. Halliwell. It's Halliwell. He's he, my favourite. He kicks it up towards the wing. But, oh, good contest. Couldn't bring down the mark. And the Sharks looking for quick hand pass here. Sultana couldn't pick it up. Going in hard. Oh, McCabe, well he comes out with it. Now he releases Lobb. A little chip over the top, not 15. Play on's the call. McKay missed the target. Now it's uh, Morris running through. High kick towards half forward, looking for Cannon. He brings it to ground. Now the uh, Burrows have got to be good. Tyquin's wrapped up in a tackle. Comes out to Ryan. Now it's out the back again. And the Sharks are doing well to lock this in and wait for numbers to get there. But the Burrows are able to get it out through Ryan. John Ryan with a clearing kick out towards the wing. Swallow and Wallace go bang. Well done by both of them. Aitken picks it up. He's got a player out wide. That's Taylor. He feeds the ball back, looking for Taylor Hine. He goes towards the wing. Lawton coming up at the football. Well protects done. the drop zone. Boy, Takes a good no, mark. No, no 50, 50 there up higher. No. Well played. Lawton goes into the middle. Kegger McCabe takes oh. the mark. He's got space. Left foot kick inside 50. He's a ripper! Oh, that is a great Aren't kick. Aren't they just the kings of short footy? They he love it in Aitken. and out and close. Yep, they do. Aiken marks 48 metres out, 45 degree angle. Kegan McCabe, such a beautiful ball oh, user. Yeah, he's really asserting yeah, his uh, dominance. Good. Both him and Lobb have been exceptional in this quarter. Yep. But Diggers desperately need a goal. Aiken, massive kick for them. They're five points up at the moment, 12 minutes in. Aiken's kick is on the way. It looks okay. It's not going to get there, though. Freeth flies, can't take the mark. Hits Whoa, the deck, tackle. goes again. Krull now follows it up. He's under pressure, can't get the football out. It's just belted towards the boundary line. Rupert's Wood trying to clear the ball. Freeth feeds Morton, but it's out of bounds, and we're going to have a throw yeah, in. An injury concern for the Borough here with Wallace coming off. Looks like an ankle injury. Doesn't look too bad. He's yeah. a bit sore. Just hobbling a little bit. Yeah. Keep an eye on that for you. Gee, they're just not taking half. advantage here, Gav, are they? They, no. need to, they need a couple of goals. Absolutely, they do. Krull wins the knockdown. It's Corey Wright or Mick Evans trying to clear it out of there. Freeth being marked very closely today. Oh, he got Could have been held as it was. Yeah. So Freeth will take the free kick. He's trying to uh, get himself a 50. You've got players streaming forward. Freeth inside the 50. Great kick. Oh, right well on. Great yeah. kick. Hits lace out. And I think that's Taylor again who's taken the mark. And he will go back and look for Diggers Rest third. And he's probably the best user of the ball for the they Barris today. playing all over Rupo. Mate. This is planning out completely different than we thought would happen. They're doing to Rupo what we thought Rupo would do to them. So Tom Taylor, 25 metres out. Just can't afford in front. to miss this one. Needs a goal. The, the Barris just have to capitalise. Taylor comes in, puts it on its oh, way, it's and he's missed, missed as well. Dear, oh, dear. This is going to come back and this fall. Is, this is got a bad smell about it, these it has, misses. And you can just see D Rupo going bang, bang. They're playing not great footy. They get a couple and get their confidence going. That's They've right. had every opportunity here, Diggers. They've gone a long kick out of full back towards Egan and Muir, the Ruckman. Comes out to Canolo. Here he goes. Takes a bounce through the middle. Gets it over to Hetherington. Through the centre circle. There's no one to go to. It's Pagan's Paddock over the top. Who's going to get there first? They've got a lot of work to do here, Rowan. Well and sock it off the ground. What a goal. Great work by Featon. He got there first and he threw the boot at it and it's gone through for a goal. And
that is going to hurt more than you'll ever realise because diggers have had the pl whole lot of play and just a quick transition, a quick turnover, a goal off the ground. Now Rupo's heads are going to be lifting diggers and be thinking, what are we got to do yep. to get a goal? We're just killing ourselves in front of the goals here. And they that's where be the four or five carry. goals up. That's where the runner carry uh, is going to start to come in as this game opens up. Yep. Canolo off half back, yep. Hetherington carrying through the middle. Feeton running down. That's Feeton's second that goal. As soon as they got the ball yep. in the middle of the ground, Feeton just did a he complete U-turn and started to head towards goal. Yep. And he knew what they were going to do. Kick it to the grass. That's, That's what they've been told That's what to they do. do. So at 15 minutes gone in the second quarter. Scores are all tied up. Just a different way of going about it. Diggers 2-9 and Rupo 3-3. Gleeson in the ruck knocks it down. His teammates there. It's, uh, I think Kilty caught one in the face there. As they come come out, Lockie Mew is wrapped up and we're going to have another bounce. And of course that scores all thanks to Mountain Toyota, Masson and Rangers Glass. Rucks go at it again, Gleeson in the ruck against Muir. Muir now, he's actually enjoying the fact that he might have a bit of an oh. advantage. Down to Hetherington, Hetherington inside, Ford 50, oh, Pottlesack! Takes the mark oh. against Jackson uh, and yeah. this will hurt oh. bad. Real I mean bad. they have been getting played all over this quarter and Diggers are on top and all of a sudden last two minutes, Rupo are going to go and bang, bang. And we talked bang. about a ten-minute patch. Yep. Diggers They've had 11 scoring shots, Diggers, and got two goals. I mean, it's bad kicking's bad footy, and that's exactly what's occurring. Here's Podolzak comes in now. Deliberate approach. Normally a reliable kick at goal. It's on its way. He Ooh, has sprayed it. missed it as well. So and we have mozzed everybody who could possibly it was be funny. mozzed. It's like a kookaburra <laughs> went off. Podolzak's got two behinds on the day. 3-4-22. 2-9-21. D uh, Rupert's would buy a point on the Mountain Toyota Massadon Rangers glass scoreboard and Diggers need Ooh, to gain control Kega. again. No. Okay, finds Tyquin just inside the boundary. Deep in the pocket still, Tyquin Pinpoint perfect. goes long towards Lawton over the top. He takes it. Beautiful kick. Nice mark, good kick, good footy all round. Big unit, isn't he? He is. He's a strong mark. He goes up towards the wing. A big pack here. Brought to ground well. Clark gets on the end of it. Snaps across the body. Now Freeth got a one-on-one. -on -one. Well, if Freeth wins he, his, Taylor Hine yeah, is out. So he couldn't get it. Chambers gets back in support. He slips and he's uh, disguised that well to take it over for a throw-in. So we Diggers need a goal urgently oh, just to give yep. themselves a little bit of confidence. I mean, they're going in here. Absolutely. They're now down. I mean, we were 16, played 16 yep. and a half minutes into the th second quarter. And they're down and they're by down. a point. So it's amazing how it's turned around. And the ball's brought back in, chasing it, Muir. Lockie, that is, over the boundary line for another throw in. What's even more hard, bro? They're kickable goals they've missed. I mean, oh, it's, yeah. it's a real a shame. A lot of shots they've missed. Yeah, yeah 15 metres out directly. Yeah, but you don't the miss cape, there. Reliable shot at goal. To Tom Taylor, Taylor beautiful yeah. user of the ball. And these guys are missing easy shots on goal. Ball comes down. Corey Wright feeds Morton. Morton tries to step around, squares the ball up to centre-half forward. Dylan Pottlezak leads up Ooh. with the board. He gets his head taken off by Lawton. Oh, yeah. If you're going to give one away, you might as well make him earn it. As he plays on quickly, Pottlezak. He tries oh, to sprint. Taylor Hine read that well, though. Cuts it off. Hairball over the top to Stewie Clark. Clark inside 50, right foot kick, and it's a shocker as well. Yeah. Uh, he had Tom Swallow. Gleason on in the square by himself. He turns it over to Swallow. Oh. Swallow towards uh, Lob, nearly cuts it off. Picked up and cleared now by Rupertswood towards the wing. And it's a big leap from Cicero over the top. Couldn't complete the mark. He's still going in there. Cicero gets it on the left. Hacks it forward. Now they're just trying to get some meterage out of the Sharks. But Corey Wright, he's absolutely dumped in a tackle. It's too high. And it's a high tackle. And he's going in there again to let him know about it. There's a 50, yeah, metres. 50 metres. He sucked him in. It was Hetherington, I think. Brad Sluggett's been around a long yep. time. And he's going to get in your ear. He's still going, Sluggett. So what, what that, that one was for, yep. they paid the too high on the initial. They did. But then Hetherington slung him to the ground. And yes. you see Billy Mitchell call the sling as well. He did. Yep. Um, might have been. Yeah, look, you just can't sling people. Nah, that's right. We saw it in the twos. You're running a risk and, every and time. That's right, got the ability. Right, to he's this. going. He's already on the move. He, he puts has. it on oh, its that's way. A nice that's kick. a beautiful kick. Right. They desperately needed he that one. He slots it. He's got his first. That's Digger's third. They move on a three nine twenty seven. Rupert's with three four twenty two. Eighteen and a half minutes gone on the Melton Toyota Masson and Rangers Glass scoreboard. Gee, they needed that one oh. desperately. It's so frustrating for them, for them. I mean, they're playing all over Rupo here at the moment. Yeah, they're just they're not on the scoreboard. The scoreboard pressure, and that's what Rupo are putting them on, yeah. even though they're not up there. It feels like there should be three goals in front. Absolutely. This is all over them. And realistically, they have to... Uh, for the dominance that they have had in the half, the amount of um, control they've had over the game, they have to go in at half-time in front. Rux yeah. will go at it again. 
Crow wins that one down right, just in and under. Feeds a handball out to Taylor. Right foot kick towards half forward. Musket beats Lawton this time. They have Musket's their best stopper, and he's gone back onto Lawton. Shows the impact that Lawton's had. Ball's over the top of it now. It's just shoveled backwards as uh, Rupo looking to try and feed it out. Lockie Muir does it again at the bottom of the pack. Feed out. Oh, Hetherington, oh, great handball. Gives it there to Canolo. Canolo's go. got Pottlezak over the top. Oh. oh, he fumbles. He opens the door for Jackson, but recovers. Gets it over to Canolo. He didn't want a bar of it. As Dylan Pottlezak gets taken out. Canolo, left foot snap around the body. It's not around a mark enough. And John Ryan will come back. He drops the mark and rolls out of bounds. Overusing the footy. Yep. And they were good with last week. I mean, Fitzy jumped on them last week for overusing the footy. One handball too many inside the 50, and that's exactly what occurred yeah, again. Yeah, Pottlezak just uh, he was thinking about how he's going to celebrate, yeah. I think, kicking the goal. He just uh, sped it before he had it. And a throw in. 20, Smallest ruck contest ever. Yeah, 20 metres out. McCabe went up in the ruck for Diggers. And it's scooped out the back towards Ryan. Out to Tyquin. Missed him, though. And Pottlezak well, shoves him over the line. It's out on the full. It's going to Repo, it's is it? It's going to uh, yeah, it should, Tyquin. It should go to Tyquin. That so, was clearly yep. on Pottlezak's foot. So, yeah, I've got the uh, light tower right in front of this. As uh, Tyquin drives it long. Swallow, Evans sitting under it. Big fist from Lawton over the top. Gets it out of bounds. Right in front of our commentary position on the balcony. And we've gone 20 and a half minutes in the second. Diggers rest up by five points. Absolute arm wrestling. You wouldn't want anything more for a final. Yep. This is what we expected. Rux will go at it again. Kroll versus Halliwell. Kroll wins it down. Clark, beautiful. Gives the handball to Wright. Wright goes down towards half forward looking for Raken. Ball rolls out the back. Musket versus Lawton. Oh, he had him really oh Lawton does well. Wins it out. Oh, Aiken's got go. Kilty in space. Kilty runs, carries, kicks to half forward. Gleason in a one on one. Tries to take the mark, brings it to ground. Lob was dangerous, but well oh. done by Egan. He feeds the ball out, gets it back. He will look long now towards half forward. Slug it on Hetherington. Oh, Hetherington up, gets rid of him. Goes towards half forward. Handball inside oh, to Hetherington. Exactly. Great tackle by Ruan. Ball goes back again inside 50. Swallow takes the mark. He is yep. 35. He will kick from 40 metres out. When Pretty Diggers, much uh, really in front. When Diggers went flying in, they really probably should have put the ball out in the open, let him run onto it. Yep. To go to a one-on-one -on -one gave you a 50-50 chance instead of 70-30. Well, Kilty could have run and carried yeah, that he football. Had a lot he of would space. have drawn... Um, yep. Would have drawn the and opponent have gone of up to him. Yep. As a big kick for Swallow. He needs to put this through to put the Sharks back in front. He's on the way. It's a beauty. Goal up by it does not move. And Rupert's would move to 4-4-28. One point in front of Diggers. 3-9-27 on the Macedon Rangers glass. Belton Toyota scoreboard. They do need to do something. I mean, Diggers, Diggers are all over them at the moment. Pretty much every facet of play, but they've... Just on scoreboard, they're just missing some easy shots, they and they've got, to, they've got to straighten that up. But in a team like you can't give Rupo an inch because they'll take a mile, and they're just leaving the door open for them. And if they have three goals up, it's just about de spirit yeah. the Rupo boys. We just saw a great example of that transition play, yep. counter attacking footy that they love to do, the Sharks, and it resulted in a goal. And the Rucks go up again. Halliwell, Paul's man's in there. He couldn't get it hold of it. Comes out now towards uh, Kilty Brandon. Hand passed it straight back to the opposition. Now they get it going forward, the Sharks. And on the second bite, he takes the mark. And it's uh, in the hands there of uh, the Sharks. They go up towards full forward over the head of everyone. A good oh, mark in right front. Slug it. Yep, yeah. slug it. He's Needed been pretty solid. Featon's been really dangerous down there. And he goes out wide again to Jackson. A little inside out right foot kick out of defensive 50. And no one can really grab it. Taylor, is it well, set denied. upon? Nearly a high tackle, yeah, is it? Yes, it, it is. So he'll look to ease the pressure. 23 minutes gone in this quarter. Won't be long to go. Five goal no. quarter as uh, Taylor takes a free kick. He's had a spectacular half for the Burroughs. Pops it up to Lawton. Geez, be good leading up at the football. Their best player. Lawton now controls the football, looking to get something moving forward of the ball. As the kick goes down to half forward, Hetherington jumps at the football, can't take it. Halliwell feeds out as they have the runner now as uh, Cal goes inside forward 50 towards Pottlezak. Good spoil from Paddy Jackson right from out. behind and we'll have a throw in 52 metres out. He's done a good job, Paddy Jackson, he on Pottlezak. Yeah. I mean, I know Todd's had a couple of shots, but he's been 45 out and you're happy to concede those because they're not yeah. kicking them. On that occasion, he drew him wide as well. So and he's done some good things, Jackson. So we're 55 out from the Sharks' goal. Not long to go in the half. Ball's tapped down right in front, and now the 
Burroughs diving in top of it. Now comes out to uh, Morris, but his kick smothered and it's out of bounds for another throw in. Well, she's 24 an minutes wrestle. into this second quarter. Rupo 4428, Diggers 3927, real arm wrestle. As uh, the, the Sharks would love to pinch a late one here because Diggers have dominated most of the half. Rucks go at it. One down by Egan, front and centre. Looking for his teammate in Rouen. He can't win the football. Morris comes across against Wright. He tries to pick the football up. Oh, it's tackle. a high tackle. Oh. No, the umpire says he play on. Now it. he's, he's going to pay that it. high one. And it's going to go to Morris. He's going to get the free kick. Look to launch them inside forward 50. Late chance at a goal here from Rupo. What's Morris going to do? Looks Wants to go long. Sets it up now towards the top of the square. Look for Feeton to fly. Can't take the mark. Ball hits the deck. He gets it again. Feeton tries to feed the handball out, but he's wrapped up and we'll have another bounce. Yep, so not long. Last chance here yeah, for Rupo very, to get a goal. Very and dangerous spot for yeah, Diggers, though. 30 absolutely. metres out directly in front with a stoppage. Absolutely. What can they do here, the Sharks? Can they really uh, break the hearts of the Burroughs? Lockie Muir was playing for a free kick. No, nothing forthcoming. The big ruckman Egan of the Burroughs continues on. He just barged through about three or four Sharks opponents. And there is the siren for half time, which sees Rupo in front. 4 4 28 over Diggers Rest. 3 9 27. Oh, they could be it's bitterly disappointed, uh, Diggers Rest players and coaching staff. Yeah. They were all over Rupo pretty much the whole quarter. But hey. You gotta, you gotta take your chances, and that's what Rupo are yeah, doing. Yeah. Every time they're going forward, they're scoring. In the last five or ten minutes of that quarter, Rupo started to pick up the pace a little bit and started to get on top. Not a great sign for Diggers. I mean, they're starting to hurt because they're not on, they're not ahead of like they were expected to be. And Rupo's running power just started to show a little yep. bit towards that last end. Absolutely, goal kick is quickly feeding. What's the Sharks doing here? And uh, they're going for a run here. Diggers rest out to the middle of the ground. Keep an eye on that. Something uh, a bit different? Yeah, so this is interesting. You know, they're going to have their half time in the middle of the ground. Yeah, so very unorthodox. You don't want anyone, he's probably going to give him a bake. We'll probably he's hear it from him. him right to the other side of the square. And um, very interesting tactic. Yeah, I, I think he just wants to keep He wants to keep the playing group together and away from everyone yeah. else. Yeah, so just um, uh, away from the space, spectators, yeah, sure. away from the. Uh, Prying ears, I suppose. Yep. I, I reckon it'll be beat. Well, he's going to start at 30 out. Yeah, so up and up forward. That's not a bad idea, yeah. actually, because he's a smart footballer. If they get it one on one quick and quick into him, I mean, he's take, got the height. He's not much of him. And it takes he's a good lean. defender as well. Doesn't look like a footballer, does he? <laughs> no. <laughs> he's very lanky. Yeah. Not much of him at all. A number four draft pick, and I think he was. And yeah, a, he uh, was. Just didn't. Uh, didn't quite yeah, get didn't there. Quite get uh, most famous for running away from Brendan, <laughs> Brendan Wade. Brendan Wade, that's right, over at Footy Park. <laughs> As we're underway again, siren sounds, Rux will go at it. Egan versus Muir. Egan wins this one down, swallow over the football. Jamie Lobb in there just feeding the ball forward as Lawton gets over it. Jeez, he's been good. Mm. He tries to shovel the handball out. Hetherington, he's been Rupo's best. He gets over the football, <laughs> just keeps paddling it towards the boundary line. Pressure there from Hine. Needs to get involved in the game. Taylor Hine. Oh, he's oh, paid, oh, a high oh, high he's paid off. a fend off. Yeah, gee, I don't know if it was there. Hetherington will take that free kick. Centre wing. Rupo. Uh, looking Very to build short. up. Well, if that's 10, 10 metres, metres, I'll bear my backside. It was a bit apart to Swallow. <laughs> Swallow now winds up. Played a good game, Brent Swallow. Kicks down towards half forward. It's all Gleeson. Tommy Gleeson takes the mark. And he will reset for the Burrows. He goes now, Gleeson. 45 degree angle kick. And he finds uh, Evans. He's going to go switch it again into the middle of the ground. Over the head of Clark. Dangerous kick now. Yeah, Can Rupo two. rebound? Here they go. Cicero, right foot kick up towards full forward. That's a good mark they taken. Came in too early, does. Diggers. They yeah, Gleeson again. Before they came in. So he's uh, taken it at the centre-half back. Goes over the head of Tyquin and goes further out wide. So between wing and half back, the Burrows. Little chip looking for McCabe and Morton and Co and uh, free kick's been paid as Vantage. McCabe keeps going towards centre half forward. He finds Kilty. Brandon started up forward, goes short to Freeth over his head, running out the back. Got to be careful here, the Sharks. They do well. Hook it back, but Hines sitting under this, looking into the sun. He takes the mark. 60 out from goal. Short chip to Freeth. Good mark out in front. He's 50 out from goal, far. though. Got to go quick. He does. He looks to dodge, but good tackle, Hetherington. Great, Great tackle. tackle. 
And that's a throw, and Hetherington will take it on half back. They've got to use their height. They've got to get it down in there quicker and to put it onto boot. Trying to play on from there is not an option. After last week, Freeth is having a mess. As Podolzak has it, centre half back. He'll look to set up Rupo again, very deliberate. Looks out wide towards Muir. He's got a little bit of space out in front of Brandon Kilty. Takes the football onto the right foot. Kicks down towards half forward and out the back. It's a mark down there. I think that's Billy Canolo's changed jumpers. He's in the nine now. Down towards half forward. It's cleaned up by Sluggett. He kicks out towards the wing looking for Langford. Where he's called out of it by Kilty. Well done. Kilty swings the handball into the middle. Beautifully picked off by Cicero. He goes towards the centre half forward. It's Gen. Players just overrunning the footy. Ruan feeds it out wide towards Tyquin. He's wrapped up quickly. He gets back onto it. Left foot kick over the head of Lockie. Muir, Swallow, picks the football up, swings it out wide to Aiden Muir, inside forward 50, Tom Gleeson sits under oh. it, Tom Gleeson oh. takes the mark again. Just came out like a steam train. Yes, he's just mopping up, he's loving it down there, intercept marks, it's his third already of the quarter, and he kicks up towards oh, the a wing, push. has a big shove, uh, umpire beautiful. says play on, used his body, it goes and finds Egan, the ruckman. He's been good, Langford. He has, and hand passes it off. McCabe, that left foot up towards Freeth, but well worked under it by Kay. That was a poor the choice. They've got the height advantage. They've got Morton down there and they've got yep. Lawton down there, and they oh, kick it to the smallest player it's a there. Bad Freeth. kick. And Freeth, uh, Egan, sorry, is going to bring it back. McCabe goes in short, and oh, they're under pressure here. Got to get rid of it. That's holding the ball. Surely threw yeah. it away. Yep, and the non officiating umpire called it. Rupo picked up a little bit they of pressure here at the moment. So Just starting to roll their way. I think it's Hetherington short to Swallow in the middle of the ground. He's really lifted Swallow. That's a chiseler. And he's found yeah. the man. It's in a half forward. Turns and goes on the right foot. Is it Canolo up towards full forward? And it's rushed through for a behind. So the luckiest footballer running out there at the moment was Tyco then because he just stood and watched as the players wheeled in onto the end of their right foot, had a shot at goal. Four Got minutes, to work a little bit harder than that. Four minutes into this third term, Rupo 4 5 29, Diggers 3 9 27, Melton this, Toyota, Macedon Rangers this class. This has got a little smell to that Rupo are starting to yep. roll a little bit yep, here. They are. They've got control of the yeah, game. Diggers are coming in, they're making a few mistakes, coming in too early, some put, you know, some misses at goal, trying to play on from 50. Keke McCabe to bring the ball back in. Try to find a target. He goes long down the line looking for Tom Gleeson. Oh, look at those hands. They're warming up for Tommy Gleeson. Fourth mark of the quarter. Pops it over the top looking for lob. Oh. It's out in front of him. It'll roll out of bounds. The right idea. Throw in. Yeah. Direct on centre wing. Far side of the ground. Diggers rest 3-9. Rupertswood 4-5. Whilst it's out wide, it's right into where Diggers want it. Just scrap it out in the boundary. Five minutes into the quarter. Rux will go at it again. It will be Aiden Muir versus Egan. Ball comes in. Rux go at it. Egan wins it over the back towards Taylor. Taylor beautifully done. Spins out of trouble. Puts it on the boot towards half forward. Stewie Clark versus Chambers. What a matchup. Morton front and centre. Feeds Michael Evans who goes towards half forward. Kilty yeah. over his head. Just nudged under it by his opponent. Langford just not putting in the hard yards. Musket did. He picked the football up out towards half back. Morton ch oh, cuts right it up. off. Yeah, good mark. And Morton will take the mark and look to send diggers forward. He's, he's dangerous for him down the forward yes. line, Morton, when he gets down. I think he's more effective now. If he's not getting the ball midfield, push him forward and they've got to put a best, their best player in to stop him. Morton, 65 out from goal, goes short, finds Mick Evans. He's off and running, looking to centre the ball. He's got Langford. He goes over oh. the top. Oh, he couldn't bring it down. McCabe's at ground level, got tackled immediately. Now the Sharks through Chambers. He goes up towards the wing. It's a nice kick too. And he finds the target. They go immediately. Feeton, he's got Canolo in support. He decides to go inside to Hetherington. They're rolling now. Canolo again. Dodges one. Goes back to Feeton. He's 60 out. He dodges one again. Hair passes back to Hetherington. Shoots on goal. Pushed off as he kicked it. Down to the forward pocket over the back. Is Gleason again. He's taken five marks already for the quarter. And they'll rebound from full back. Goes out to slug it. Defensive 50, they're just going to stop start again here, the Burrows. And that all started because down in, in defence here, the diggers forwards just didn't work hard enough. There were five Rupo yeah. players sitting around the ball and they just ran it out too easy. Slugger went towards Lawton out over the back, Swallow sees it out of bounds and we'll have a throw in. 
and that's a danger side when they're running it to, oh, yeah. um, one end to the other like if the that. the diggers forwards don't lift their game and start working harder, this, is gonna, this could just get a little ugly. And that's what we said at half time. It just yep. looked like they were starting to open it up. Ball to the front of the pack. Swallow can't pick it up. Mew, uh, Halliwell goes back and gets it. McCabe, just a scrubby handball. Oh, Swallow uh, just puts his head down, turns, gives it to Dylan Pottlezak. Inside Ford 50, they'll fly. Ball hits the deck. Players on the ground slug it. Feeds the handball out. Oh, that's oh, too exactly, high. Yep. Paddy Jackson will take the free kick. Yep. Good work by Jackson. He goes across goal. He finds Tyquin. So can they open it up on the fat side here? But uh, numbers pushing over. Going to go long up the line. One on one contest. Morton on uh, Chambers. Oh, he's been dragged, he's off, been the dragged ball. off it, surely. Up I said, too, yep. yep. So Morton will take the free kick. Yeah, between. Cicero, just a bit nervous yep. in those one on ones. Yes, absolutely. Wouldn't you be so against Carl Morton? No, I'd dominate him. <laughs> You'd so knock him out. Morton <laughs> is going to go back. Oh, he switched it. He uses the ball beautifully. He doesn't make yeah. skill mistakes. And it's uh, Evans. Had a lot of the ball, Mick Evans. He has. So just taking their time as they like to do the burrows. He goes long and strong up the line. Big pack forms. Oh, nearly a mark taken at ground level. They scoop it out. Comes out towards Egan, the big ruckman. Now it's out the back. Can they set it up here through McCabe? High kick towards and a half forward. No one home, really. Good work by Kildy to work his man off it. But uh, Lobb has got to get on the end of it and work his player. Oh, he's going no back into trouble. He oh. chips it short. He finds a man. Oh, Kilty, oh. Brandon went on, played on. I reckon Had, that was 15. Yeah, it was more 15 than other ones we've seen. But he's uh, got out of trouble. And Taylor, I think, on the outer side. They've got the big, the big fella down there. Egan's down there. And that's where they got to go, aim it towards so him. So a couple of kicks from goal. He's going very short. Great he's kick. found a man, though, oh. Lawton. He that takes it out 50. in front. It's that dangerous spot, though, 45 out. It's been difficult to kick all day. He has made the distance on both occasions, Lawton, but yep. to the um, right-hand side of the yeah, goal. so he's just going to have to adjust slightly. So Gav's pretty confident you're gonna, yeah. he's going to kick it, in, you, aren't you, Gav? I don't know whether he'll kick it, because he's missed both shots, but <laughs> he did. He definitely has had the distance two times but already. But that's what looks like. They got it in quick to their tall yeah. fours, and that's what they've got to do. Yeah. When they start farting around with the ball around, up around centre forward and gives Rupo the yep. opportunity to come back, it's going to hold him up. Chris so. Lawton comes in, steps over the 50, 48 metres out, oh, kicks it on its way right, and so. it's gone even further right than it has oh, before. Aren't they That's wasting the every opportunity yeah, they they've got the Borough? Swallow just let him know all about it. As uh, the Sharks bring it in from full back, they're hugging the boundary line, sitting under it, uh, they're going to bring it back in the Boroughs, so they've got a chance here. They need to score a goal. There hasn't been one goal yet in this quarter. Egan it's, takes the mark across half-forward. It's the diggers' forward. rest tools which are causing them all the trouble they at the are. moment. They've got a, players lining up across half-forward. McCabe goes very short again. Oh, oh they spoiled each other, but the mark's been it. taken. It's Evans. It's in a half-forward. <laughs> they can't let McCabe get around the back and get those, yeah, those right. handballs. He's just thriving off that. Evans goes deep into the pocket. So that's a poor Look, oh, option. It's a bad option, isn't it? And it's going to go out that's of bounds. That's the hardest pocket to kick a goal from in this ground. And you've got forwards absolutely flying up the middle. I mean, Clark was pushing hard and making, yep. a, making a lead, and he just ignored him and then went out to that dead pocket. So 55 out from goal. Digger's goal, that is. And Egan and Muir do battle. Went over his head. Egan got the secondary tap down. And it's just hacked out of there by the Sharks. Can they get a mark? No good fist over the top. And it's Jackson who followed up again. Hand passed it out. Uh, Digger's just... Uh, Working in a phone box over there. Can't get it out. Comes out to Tyquin eventually. Looking for a switch out the back. Not coming. Here's right. Left foot ball. Okay. Finds Clark. Here's a bit better play. Gets it off to McCabe. Spearing ball. That's a good kick to Kilty. Brandon, he goes quickly. He tries to dodge one. Crosses 50. Pops it up towards full forward. Who's it's waiting right there? One. There's three Sharks. And uh, they're able to mop up pretty easily through Chambers, and he just bombs it out of the full back. Chambers looking out towards half back. Clark comes out, does well, but the free yep. kick's been paid against him. Good call. It will go to Cannon. He plays on quickly, looks into the middle of the ground, finds Sultana. Takes the mark. Rupo looking to open this one up. Two players collide in the middle of the ground. Opens it up. Swallow goes towards half forward. Billy Canolo's tried to get out the back. Gleason Ooh. flies. Lands on his head. He's in oh, trouble. Oh, Hetherington picks it up. Handball over the top. Pottlezak oh, under pressure. Oh, he's missed. What a great, fantastic great tackle, tackle by Tyquin. As Pottlezak kicks his third behind of the day. And that takes Rupo 4 6 30. 
Diggers 3927 on the belt Toyota. Diggers like you wouldn't believe because they had all the play and then they just, just you know, a quick transition down the other end of the ground. When you've had all the play, it just breaks your heart. As the kick comes out long towards Stewie Clark in a mountainous space. Marks on halfback, looks its board, tries to find a teammate in Taylor. He can't take the mark, but taps it to his own advantage. Puts it down to half forward, Egan against Muir. Ball hits the deck, good contest between these two all day. Ball rolls out of bounds and we'll have a yep. throw in. Half forward for Diggers Rest, looking to go inside forward 50 and attack. They'd still be pretty happy that they're um, yeah, they're still within with touching them. distance. 12 minutes into the third, three points down. Our Diggers Rest, 3-9-27, Rupert to 4 6 30. So still up for grabs. Egan goes up, one down by Muir. Coming out towards uh, Morris of the Sharks, just hacking it forward, looking to get some meterage. Uh, the Burrows are going to hold it up, though, and we'll have a ball up on the outer wing. Gee, aren't we going to be in for a ripping last quarter when this comes with this gap? three-quarter time. It's yeah, just tight and, tight and tough at the moment. Ruck's going at Muir, wins it down, but straight to his uh, opponent. Goes towards half forward. Morton's got a little bit of space on Cicero. Turns him inside out. Kicks down towards half forward. It's a nice kick, but great small by Kay. Goes out of bounds and we'll have a throw in. As uh, the, the Burroughs looking to move forward. Mark Freeth off the ground at the moment. Josh yeah. Wallace has gone forward as their, uh, their small forward now. You'll be trying to get Freethy back on yeah, as quick as you can, but you need him to play up around the contest. He's just having a mare at the moment. Rucks go at it. Muir just knocks it back front and centre. Lockie Langford leads in the race. He'll see it over the boundary. We'll have another throw I in. I like the move of Carl Morton going forward, though. That yeah. really has given him an important. option. It's yeah. given him a different look. And, and his skill. He hits his targets, and that's really important. And he's forced a good defender to go on to him. Yeah. Since oh, right. you it takes just, him out of the game, doesn't it? Even if, I mean, they try and shut him down every week, but it takes him, you're right. Takes it out. Egan right. smashes the ball towards half forward. Lob just knocks it towards Morton. Can't pick it up. He follows up nice with a great ball. tackle and he wraps up his opponent 55 metres out from goal. We'll have another bounce. We well, said this week in, week out, the tackling ability in that in this level of football has gone through the roof and they've really have yep. trained it up and it's of a really high standard. Ball's thrown up at 55 out from their goal, but it's gone the other way for the Sharks. Podolzak was the one left standing. He recovers. He's just not sitting for him at the moment. He gets it eventually, waiting for some options to present. He goes up towards half forward, but it's to the advantage of uh, Gleeson again. Couldn't take the mark and plays dive on top of it. The umpire looks as if he's going to ping him. him. Yeah, ping him oh, that. he has. That's a pretty tough call, you've got to say. Now it comes out of the Sharks, dodging, weaving, going towards goal, and that hurts. That hurts a lot. Canelo, was it? And it was yeah. uh, Canelo who kicked the goal, and uh, that is an absolute dagger in the heart the, of the Barrows. The diggers rest backmen, when they see the ball shoot out behind the contest, they must just about have kittens, because feeding them, they're the <coughs> group of would are on it like a yeah, hawk. They, they just, are. they are so quick out the back and that's what happened then it came down the ball rolled out and the two diggers players all they wanted to do was kill the contest unfortunately yep. they were the only two players laying on the ground that's right and billy, that's where the free kick come out of billy canolo gets his first of the afternoon rupo 5636 diggers rest 3 9 27 melton toyota macedon rangers glass score rucks go at it again it's knocked out taylor hine been quiet today Gets a rightful kick down towards Lobb in a one-on-one -on -one contest. It's one out of there by Halliwell. He hacks it towards half forward. Well done out there by Caldone. Just strong in the contest. Almost kept his feet. Fell over at the last minute. Cicero gets a left foot kick towards half forward. Slug it. Controls the ball. Puts his head over it. Tries to feed it forward. Taylor Hyde just shoves off right one. Up. Gets it out to McCabe. McCabe with oh. a dribbling kick towards half forward. M Michael Evans comes at it. Halliwell comes at it. Cicero gets it. Right, left foot kick towards half forward. Sultana leads his opponent up. That's Tyquin. Tries to step around and does. Feeds the ball into the middle. Gip can't get the ball. Morton does well. Feeds to slug it into the middle to Lawton. He's oh, wrapped up tackle. straight away by Halley, uh, by Muir. Sorry, Aiden Muir that is. And we'll have a bounce right in the middle of Clark Oval. We said before, it's starting to open up a little bit Sharks way. They're just getting the ball out in the open, getting the first contest. Uh, Egan gets the tap down, Morton charging right. through, can he pick it up, he does, he shrugs one, he gets a kick away just in the nick of time, comes out to Clark, Clark and Chambers going at it, he couldn't pick it up Clark, and Chambers was able to get back, but they're still in with the show here at the Burroughs, Clark gets on the end of it again, but harassed by Morris, and it's going close to the boundary line, in there again is Clark, and uh, the Sharks did well just to hold that up, and they're going to force a stoppage on the outer side. So it's a nine-point ball game, 16 minutes gone. 
and the Sharks in front. And uh, Diggers rest, they just love a goal. They haven't scored one in this quarter. Only the one goal for either side. Ball's hacked forward by the Burrows. Going towards Lawton, he couldn't trap it. Coming in hard there was Kilty. Went over at it. Now the Sharks working out through hair pass. Gets it to Chambers, hacks it long. Finds uh, Sultana, but there's three Burrows in. One of them is right. Hand passes to himself, looking to get Ooh. on the end of it again. Big hit laid over there as well. Another big hit. Okay. They're going in hard. And the pack forms. The umpire's going to ping someone here. He is. It's going the way of the Burrows. Dived on top of it. I think it might have been that Morris. Have been Morton's in the middle, and they just yeah, yeah, they so found him here. Morton's on. Got to take this, Morton. He does. Now they've oh, got a the player right, running wide, wide again. They've got to give it over. Yeah, he's got to go. Goal. Jackson's run forward. Now he's got to use this well. He chips it inside. It's a half volley for the big fella. Couldn't take it. Hasn't and, got the uh, footy. And Chambers got to go back. Jackson goes in there. They're scrapping for it at half forward. Chambers mops up. Gets it out now. And uh, the Sharks are away through Sereni. But it's uh, turned over again in midfield. Hacked forward towards Brandon Kilty. A nice pick up. He takes on one and he's gone. Oh, he's gone. He Gee, took on too many. The tackle pressure lifted again. So it's going to be at centre half back. The Sharks. A frenetic minute or so there from both sides. Hetherington moves the ball out towards the wing. Finds Pottles at Todd. He takes the mark centre wing. Not used to being this far out from goal. He drives the ball down towards half forward. It's a nice looking kick. Finds his teammate Dylan Featon. Turns onto the left. Steps inside oh. onto the right. Left foot kick. Down towards full forward is a floater. Tyke went under tackle pressure. Feeds the football back. Finds a teammate. As uh, they've oh. coughed this one up. Sultana puts pressure on. Tyke just hacks it out of that defensive 50 post. It's up towards the centre of the ground. Hind can't pick it up. Those players are falling over all over the place. Lob gets it out to Aiken. Aiken swings the ball towards the wing. Oh, putting the head over the foot. He's guilty. He can't win it. Players dive in again all over the ball. It's coming, going nowhere at the moment. <laughs> as uh, Muir feeds the handball forward. Another smothered handball in there from Morris. As the Borough try to bust, bust <laughs> their way through. It is absolutely going nowhere. Yeah. Tackle wrapped up. Bounce the ball for Jeez. God's sake. And the umpire swallowed the whistle. He's just going to yeah, let it go. Let it go, that's for sure. So between wing and half forward for the Sharks. Big fist over the top by Egan. Starting to assert his dominance in the ruck. Here they go on the outer side, the Burrows. Oh, oh the they missed the no. target. They were out too. It was... Um, that's because was the pressure is... Rupo have lifted the pressure. And they're now... They're now having to really, really rush their kicks, and that's why they're missing their targets. That's right, they're out. Just time to settle down a little bit, the borough. They're not out of it. So they've got it forward, the borough, between wing and half forward. Must score soon, and they need to do it quick. Ball comes out the back, though. Good smother. Good smother, laid. Morris is in and under for the Sharks. Little banana kick, but it's uh, Pottlezak who won out. Got a kick going forward. Now it's a foot race. Oh, oh, they tripped over each other. The Borough plays. Now it's uh, Sultana running into an open goal. He's going to pop it over the top. He's gone too far, though. Has he got time to recover? Hand passes over the top again. It's a goal for the Sharks. Pottlezak. And it's going to be uh, Pottlezak who got on the end of it. And there's a digger's play in big trouble when his mate went under his legs. I think yeah. he took his knee out, and I think he has he's actually taken down. the knee out. So Pottlezak. He's in all sorts of trouble. Gets on the end of it, and that increases the lead. Rupo, 6642. Trying to see who that is out there. 3927, Melton Turner, Masson Rangers, Glass Scoreboard. 20 minutes gone in the third quarter. That's it's not Matty Jackson, Morton, is it? By the looks of it. Uh, 13, is it? Yeah, yeah Jackson. Jackson. Yep, yeah, he's been pretty he's good in today. a lot of pain. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That would have really hurt. Worst thing is, he's a defender too, so yep. this ball's going to go up. And Canolo is all by himself. Yes. Rucks go at it, tap down. They desperately need to win this, or Canolo's going to get it. Evans kicks it forward. Lob gets out the back, feeds an underground handball to Krull. He can't get it forward. Great tackle pressure from the Sharks. Ball still trying to be moved forward. Lob's trying to lock it up. He will, and it'll be a bounce 50 metres out from goal. Look, have a look at this. Rupo have got three players standing by themselves across the They look the very team. panicky, the borough, at the moment, don't they? Yes. It's uh, panic stations. Rucks go at it again. Muir wins it down. They must keep this ball in here, Diggers, because if it gets out, they're in trouble. Egan over the football, knocks it forward. Morris now. He works forward, gets a quick yeah, kick out. out. Here yeah, are the is. numbers. Sultana. Oh, sorry, that is... Uh, Cannon picks the football up. Great smother by McCabe. Gets it back high. Inside 450. Kick. Great kick, Aiken. Aiken takes the mark. He's got Evans on. Evans over the top inside 450. Oh, oh, Turns, kicks. Great he's kick. got it. And Mick Evans 
We still fought at a yeah. horrible 45 hour from yes. here, and that is a really tough kick today. And we know first quarter he missed two from this yeah. distance. Well, if he hopefully he's learnt, but that is a really hard kick for me. Nick Evans, that massive kick for the Borough because Rupal just got a bit of a gap on him now. <laughs> And the siren sounded short quarter. Short quarter, only two goals kicked in it so far. So this is for the third goal of the quarter. Both Massive. goals going to Rupo. Mick Evans, kick on the way for some momentum. He's got oh, it. He's got it. He's got it. And the Borough will get around him. As they have stayed in touch, a beautiful goal to finish the quarter. Well, that's going to put some spot into the last quarter. And yeah. A bit of momentum for the Borough then. And the, and the Sharks thought they had it all over them and were going to come home with a, a, a wet sail. But there they've... Uh, They've lifted again, the Borough, you can, they're the ultimate finals professionals, aren't they, really? They know how to win them. And uh, Rupo, they're in a bit unfamiliar territory getting this far into a finals <laughs> campaign. And uh, let's hope they don't get jittery, but oh dear. But I will. Grand final on the line next week. Who's going to stand up and be counted? It's uh, all to play for in this last 20 or so minutes. Thanks footy. to Melton Toyota and Macedon Rangers Glass this last quarter. Brought to you by Highlands FM. Ball aloft, siren sounds, nine point lead to the Sharks. Rucks go at it, Egan wins it down. Lockie Muir gets over the football, can't get a clear tap though. Swallow picks it up, tackled by Taylor and we'll have a bounce early in this uh, last quarter. We, we're hoping to see an early diggers goal because this could be a ripping yep. last oh, yeah. stanza. Egan wins it down again, Swallow just taps it forward. McCabe knocks it forward, out oh, towards Swallow. Up. He dives on the footy, so does Taylor Muir. Feeds it out wide to Dylan Pottlezak. He goes down towards half forward. Johnny oh, Ryan goes Bennett. over his head. He just knocked down. Chambers has gone forward for the Sharks. Into Morris. He kicks inside forward 50. Looking for Pottlezak. Coming up at the footy. Poor bounce. Stephen Ruan cleans up for the Burrows and gets a clearing kick. Out towards Sean Egan. In a one-on-one. -on -one. Lockie Muir does well. Brings the ball to ground. Brandon Kilty hasn't had the greatest of days, but putting pressure on and the ball rolls out of bounds. Oh, they were lucky, the Burrow then. There were four Sharks just hanging around there. Yep. As you say, schooling around, waiting for an easy <laughs> one. I'm right. not sure if that's the right they word. smell blood. And it's a good call there, Gav. Chambers has gone forward, so looking for a good marking target. Ball's thrown in right in front of our balcony position here. Morton gets on the end of the crumbs. A good tackle comes out now to the Sharks. Going towards that man. Chambers in a one-on-one. -on -one. Look to go with the one hand. But good work defensively by the Borough. But comes out to Sultana. He's stripped of it. Now they go in again. The Borough, they're able to lock it up. 45 out from the Sharks goal. That is a clever. We've, you know, Brady Chambers has gone before for four in Ballarat football and kicked multiple goals. He's a really good goal kicker. Ball goes up again. Good tap down by Muir straight to uh, Gleeson who pumps it up towards the middle of the ground. No one could grab it. Lobs in there. Now it comes out towards Freeth. He overran it. Here they go, the Borough, they're just getting uh, stopped in the middle. And it's come out through Swallow. Up towards Pottlezak, Dylan at half forward, he overruns it. Oh, that oh, was a no. oh, bad effort by Hine there. Should have gone for it. Comes up towards uh, Cannon, but it's fallen to Pottlezak. Todd, he's kicked it from 20 out around the body. An important goal. Absolutely. That is a real heartbreaker for the Borough. They had... Yeah, they've just seemed like they've dropped off a little bit. All the speeds picked up from Rupo. Rupo was sniffing blood, the Sharks. Well, that's a poor analogy. You know what I mean. They, uh, they're just yeah. over. They got one-on-one. -on -one. They were a little bit harder to the yes. footy. Taylor Hine, yeah, he had bad. an opportunity to put no, himself on the line. I don't, I don't reckon do Taylor Hine's right. He has no. not had a good day. And his attack on the football then was just yeah, wasn't good enough. He's got a limp. Scratch, so. And through the middle of the ground, we saw um, Stewie Clark had the ball. Could yep. have fed to Mark Freeth, but didn't. Yes. Um, you know, just those little errors which will cost you a game of footy. Rucks go at it. Halliwell wins it down. It's uh, Kilty trying to get the ball. Storming through his hind this time. Handballs to himself. Loses the ball. Swallows. Evans in there. Had a great game today. Just throws it on the boot. Big barrel inside Ford oh. 50. No one goes up against... Uh, what, three diggers players are still looked at him. Yeah. Kick out wide. Goes to Swallow. He dives. Can't take the mark. Crowell looking to put pressure on. Gets over the football. Musket Ooh. just wraps him up. Ball out towards Lob. Lob feeds the handball into the middle of the ground. Mick Evans leads the race. Egan gets in his way. Ball comes out the back towards McCabe. Oh. He overruns it. This is where the danger Here comes as Chambers feeds out to Sultana. Back to Chambers. He carries to 50. No one in the goal square. Goes long towards goal. He's yeah, put it across result. the face and it's they out of bounds. They look tired, diggers. They do. they do look tired. They're overrunning the footy. Yeah. And not 15 bending over and point it up. lead to the Sharks. Yes. Three and a half minutes into this last term. 
there, Saul Slank's about to tie out of Masson and Rangers Glass. This is danger. Times for the Burroughs. 25 out from the Sharks. Gold tapped over. Poddles act. Todd gets a hand pass out the back. Now they look to set up again. Lockie Muir couldn't get a handle on it. Poddles act got hand, uh, man handled. Sultana, clever little tap. Only as far as uh, the Burrow defence. Chambers, he's been in everything up forward. Oh, Snap around the body. It looks pretty oh, good. It's there. That is a ripper. Brett Chambers take a bow. Eight goals, six. Uh, 54, and Diggers rest, 4-9, 33, yeah, four just, minutes in for uh, the last quarter. They have just booked themselves a grand final berth, their first history in Riddle District. 21 points up, it's going to be tough yeah, from here for the bar. Fast. You've only kicked 33 for the day, and you've got to find 21 and three quarters of a quarter of footy, and it's not in them. They just look tired, Diggers. They yep. just look like they've, uh, they've given everything, and they've just run out of go. Yeah. First two goals of the quarter, the Sharks, five minutes points. or four and a half minutes into this quarter. Rupo 8654, Diggers 4933, Melt Toyota, Macedon Rangers, Glass yeah. Scoreboard. Lockie free Muir kick. goes to get the yeah. out of the middle, but there's going to be a free kick. It's going to go up to Mick Evans. Yeah, what do they do, Paul? The Burroughs? I don't think they've got the legs, mate. They need it's not about goals. what they can do, it's yeah. just I don't think they've got the legs in them yeah. to be able to do Evans this. Evans goes long to half forward, looking for Hine. He can't win the football off the mark, gets the football back, tries the don't argue, keeps it in. Dropping well done, ball. Taylor Hine. Right foot kick inside 50 oh. is turned over. And it's an easy relieving mark for the Sharks. So the Sharks, they look to rebound. They find Hetherington. And what a start to the last quarter. What a luxury to have Brett Chambers to be able to oh, throw forward for absolutely. any time. Absolutely. And he's just caused chaos up there. They just haven't been able to match up on him. Hetherington takes a bounce, runs through centre half back, all too easy. Pumps it in towards, out to grass, as they say. Chasing after it out wide. Can they pick it up? Not quite. Yes, here they go. Takes a bounce on the outer side. It's just burnt Morton off. He yeah. does, and he's gone towards full forward. Over the top. Beaten. Beaten. Takes a nice clunk, if you don't mind. This is open over. right up now. Look yes. at this. The borough are cooked. They are. Hands on hips. Let's cook a... Uh, no, let's uh, <laughs> Nicely done. So we're going to cook a burra. <laughs> that's one for you, mate. So, well done. And yeah, uh, put Feet, that in the book. That's it. So, Feet, and he's got two already. He's been a, a dangerous sort of player up forward for the Sharks. And this, for a 27-point lead, it's uh, just busted open. So, he's 25 out. Very acute angle. It'll take a pretty good kick. Comes in very slow, deliberate. Left foot kick is on its way. It's and narrow it's for a behind. So just leaves the door a tiny bit of jar for the borough there. there. That's what we like. Keep Two a bit three of to the day for feet. Yes, you got some uh, netball scores there, Paul. We do. We had Lansfield beat Mountain Centrals 55 to 46 in the A grade. So Lansfield go through to the grand final. Rupo had a win in the B grade. Rupo 44 defeated Riddle 23. And in the C grade, Diggers have got one through to the grand final. That's Diggers 24 defeated Melton Centrals 18. As Langford tries to play on, he gets dispossessed in the tackle. Feeds a running slug it. He just pops it over the top. Nice little kick. Egan, I have no idea what he was doing. He just threw one <laughs> arm in the air. Kicks. They're yeah. just popping them up spent, now. Aren't they? One arm in the air, yeah. all by himself, 15 metres in the clear, and did not even get near it as we will have a throw in 60 metres around from the uh, Rupo goal. And I think uh, I think we're just about ready to call this one. Yeah, Stick a fork no, in no. Her. She's just about all over, mate. As Egan wins the tap down, players just piling in there again. Evans for Diggers have tried hard all day. Ball pops out, Lockie Muir feeds it over the top as they just absolutely try to polax Gip and he will get the free kick. 65 metres out from the Sharks' goal. And this is the dangerous one. You've got Brady Chambers, you've got Pottlezak and all. They've got their best marking and, and, and the best players down in the deep forward. Gip goes long inside forward 50. Uh, players will send oh, Chambers! Chambers! Chambers has flown over the top. <laughs> Take it a ripper. The, the problem best. was they had a bloke in front. He's playing like nobody, Royce Hart. Nobody went with Chambers in the air. He's the best player in the competition in my eyes. I mean, he's the most versatile, but he's the... He's just captain consistency, and he's a, just a terrific footballer, and has been for years. 15 metres out, not much angle, no angle to speak of. Brett Chambers, to absolutely 100% put Rupert's Wood through to their first grand final in the Riddle District Football Netball League. Chambers comes in, right foot kick on its way. It. it is home. It is over. Rupert's Wood will go through to a grand final. Yes, a yeah. great call, Gav, and Chambers just... What a great move. We called it from the box, but good work to Kev Fitzgerald for making the move. It's the first time this uh, final series he's actually thrown Brady forward. Yep. And I mean, 
Um, what a great I've seen it done a few times. Serge Power used to do it to him a couple of times, throwing forward and yep. create goals. But it's a pretty change at the moment. He's, amazing. he just reads the ball better he than does. anybody in this competition. He reads his and, um, so well, doesn't he? I mean, they're going to be playing the Cats next week. This is going to, that's going to be a cracker. Yeah. It's a dry day, two fast-running teams. Yep. See all the Macedon people all heading home now down there. They're all the hierarchy. Yep, so 9761, Rupo, 4933, the Diggers. It's all done. We're nine minutes into the last. Ball's in dispute. Kick going forward by the Burroughs. Can they just muster something? I don't think they will. Clark gets a tap over the top, and he goes in again. He fell over at the crucial stage, and the Sharks uh, wrapped up is their musket, and we'll have a ball up. Gee, I think the, on the Burroughs recruiting list is going to be a little bit of speed in the key forward. Yeah, absolutely That's right. That's going to be their main recruiting this year. Gone up again and tapped out. And uh, by Kroll it was. Comes out to Musket though. And he goes out wide looking for a mark. He's not going to get it. It's Gip. Hand passes to himself. And it's uh, a dangerous sort of spot here for the Burrows. Can they get something going? No. It's that brick wall out in the half back line of the Sharks. Muir. Aiden Muir that is. Hand passes over the top. Back to Gip. Little chip over the top. He finds Cannon. They're just jogging now. The, the urgency's it. gone out so of it. They know it's over. Cannon goes up to Todd Pottlezak with a good fist over the top by um, it was uh, Ruan. Got it out towards the boundary and it's going close. It's kept in. It's fighting over it. It's a bit of slow motion out there. The Sharks go through Sultana. Just hacks it forward and it's a good mark taken <laughs> by uh, Gleason at uh, half back. And he goes uh, directly up the middle. He finds Mick Evans. So Mick Evans probably been one of their best players. Goes out wide to find Stewie Clark. Goes back to Evans, running hard. He, he has takes tried a nice really mark. Hard, Mick so Evans. He's been a good yeah, player been for really all. Good. And really he's, uh, good today. Well, he, it's a little bit of a lone hand, to be it honest is, with you. Really. A couple of the big the right. names haven't played well at all. And he's been having to take all their shots at goal. And it comes out to Swallow, though, on half back. They just pump it forward. There's Evans again. So he's just racking up some touches here. Drives it towards centre-half forward. Two on two. Who can take it? That's a good mark. Uh, I think Lucky that might Langford. be Langford there. Yeah, still course. that horrible 45 yeah, out here. So and it's a hard kick. It is. And the wind probably coming across his uh, right cheek. Mick as Evans well. on his haunches. He's just about yeah, he's cooked. He's yeah. uh, tried his heart out. As Mick Evans. He's calling to yeah. come off. He's had enough. Let me, let me have Taylor's going to come on for him. So Lucky Langford a chance here. To get a goal, bring it back to 22 points. We're 11 minutes into the last, and they just haven't looked like it, though, unfortunately, the Burroughs. Langford from 50, pops it up. It's, it's a kick. good kick. It's going left, though. I mean, the Sharks behind. are only about five minutes away from taking their foot off the accelerator and just cruising the end to put themselves yep. to look after it. Cotton a, wool. Yeah, look yeah. after yourself for a grand final, Look, mode. let's be honest. The, the first half... <laughs> Cost diggers rest oh, absolutely. Oh, yep, they should kicking. have been three or four goals up at half time. Um, they, they dominated the contest for the first half, but that lack of scoreboard pressure in the end has cost them this it has, contest. Yeah. It's as simple as that, isn't it? Ball out towards the wing. We're going to have another throw in as the uh, buzz has gone out of the game and we see people starting to head home. I think they're yeah. trying to beat the traffic. <laughs> the 20,000, uh, 50, 90,000 people that are yeah. here. Well, can bottleneck out there the gate last week? I got out there. As they, the ball comes down, Kilty feeds the handball to slug it, tried hard all day, slug it. Goes to set half forward, Sean Egan takes a mark. So Egan, Egan's done yeah. well for him, he stood up. Right foot kick inside 50, Aiken will fly, ball hits a deck, Freeth has, an ad, has had a dirty day. Uh, out towards oh, McCabe. McCabe, McCabe throws oh, it on the boot, yeah. misses. Yeah, Kegger hasn't had one of his favourite days either. I mean, he, he's missed some goals he should have kicked. Yeah, he missed a couple. Freeth hasn't really been day. effective. It's their, it's their deep forwards have really, they've got nothing out of, to be yeah, honest with you. that's right. 4, 11, 35, 9, 7, 61, 12 and a half yeah, minutes. gone over the line, quarter. so there'll be a ball. Right over the line, ball up. Coming here, the diggers. But all the diggers players got their hands on their heads. You can just see it in their body language. Yeah. This is done. They know it's done. Master so. and Rangers, Glass, Melton, Toyota. Thank you to our major sponsors who Absolutely. have got us on the radio this year and got us through this final series. And oh, it's we've been got a cracking. Well, three games left. Too. We wouldn't be, wouldn't be here if it wasn't for them, mate. That's for sure. As the ball comes down, Lankford swoops on the ball, turns around, tries to kick backwards, can't find Taylor, he just toe pokes out towards that half back line oh. follows it up, does well, taps it to himself Ooh. he's been good today oh, too, Taylor off. should get a free kick, doesn't and we will have a throw in I just remind everybody that next Sunday is our grand final at yeah, Romsey Sunday. Park, not Saturday Sunday, three to go three to go, the absolute crackers as well they promise to be, the ball's thrown in 35 out from the Burroughs goal hacked out of there by Cicero, I think it was, and it gets it out to Tyquin, though. 
Hand passes out wide. Little uh, dribbling ball towards half forward, but the Sharks are there just to rebound. They do that very, very well, and they found a target on the outer wing. Chambers. Chambers again. Yeah, so he's, Chambers being fantastic. Yeah, he's just turned this game on his own boot, and he goes up towards Todd Pottlezak. All the Burroughs defenders flew. Yep. No one stayed down. Now the, the Sharks are holding the ball, so they get away with it. Oh, a little bit to go on with. Yeah, so there's a bit I'll of... I'll tell you what, on the bottom of the pack there, that Sharks player, I would not be throwing those little cheapies no, right now. not now. Ball go goes into the middle of week. the ground. Finds Josh Wallace. He'll look to swing the ball as a switch. Carl Morton behind the footy. Takes the mark. Morton just holding oh. the ball up. Has nowhere really to go. Looks for Corey Wright, who did well, worked hard up at the ball. Wasn't able to collect it. Goes back after it again, picks it up. Oh, well, Spins, uh, does nicely. Gets around his opponent, kicks down towards half forward. Freeth, who's been beaten comprehensively today, but comes out of it this way with the ball. Cam McCabe comes up at the ball. Ooh, that's just a giving a little bit oh, of a clip. A bit going on between yes. Swallow and Clark out in the wing here. Yep. As Chambers just got back and cut it off again. Looks out towards the wing, finds Dylan yep. Featon. It goes straight through his hands yeah, towards the boundary. It That's stayed smart, in, though. Featon's got it. Looks in board, finds Sultana. Good coaching by Kevin Fitzgerald. Just yep. get it, bring him off. He's one of the better players. Settle him down. That Sultana now looking towards half forward, finding a teammate. And Hetherington's more than happy just yeah. to soak it up yes. a little bit here. 15 gone. He's going to stroll to the end now. Three goals only, kick for the quarter. So the Sharks... Plays oh, on, Hetherington just walks around the opponent on the goal, on the Oof. mark. Kicks a tumble punt to half forward, Kilty. Tries to take on two tacklers, oh, tries to take on. him on again. He is yeah. absolutely gone. And throws one out too. Free kick to Sultana. He will go back and look to wind up inside forward 50. Pottlezak is the target. Goes over his head, Morton cuts it off. We've called young Sultana's name yep. a few times today. He's, a, he's one of a good bunch. He's a lively type. Oh, there we go. He's got two on the board, Paul. Yeah. Nice no, no, I'm not, I'm not. I'm not firing at all cylinders here <laughs> at the moment, but that'll do. We're just working up to next yeah, week. Yeah, that's we'll right. right. So we're at centre half back here for the Burrows. Their season's done and dusted, and that's a bad kick, and it's turned straight yeah. over to Hetherington, and he'll chip it in board, and he finds Morris with the sleeve on the right arm. He goes out wide, and they've just got acres of space here. The Sharks they drill it in towards Featon. A good contest by Ryan. He sees it over the boundary line. So we'll have it thrown in about 50 out from goal. And uh, scoreboard reads 9 7 61. The Sharks, Diggers rest 4 11 35. We've gone 16 minutes into the last quarter on the Melton Toyota. Macedon Rangers glass scoreboard. Sounds like the disco going on in the background there, mate. Yeah, it's, it's a bit been of going doof -doof. on all day. I don't know what's going on out there, but. A bit of doof doof. Yeah. Uh, they've been loving it. As Muir wins the hit down, down the front, Hetherington around the body, inside forward 50 feet, oh, leads up at the football. Up. Can't take the mark. As uh, players just dive in there, Caldone over the football. And we'll have a bounce 25 metres out from the Sharks' goal. Some very, very tired looking players on both sides, Martin. They're just going to be looking for the siren. That's right. It's probably only about five or so minutes left. They're going to be a very, two very excited football clubs this week, oh, Mastin and uh, Rupo. Uh, grand finals are unfamiliar territory, certainly for the Cats. Yep. Kilty brings it out from full back. He's got no one to go to. Eventually has support. Now through Ruan. Kicks it up towards Freeth. He's had a dog of a day. Couldn't get it on that occasion. Oh. Now a short little chip. It was a nothing kick. Came back to, came back there to Egan, Nash Egan. Full forward. No one could take the mark. Featon was down there. Hetherington gets there first. He bursts from one tackle, but the boundary line beats him and we'll have a throw in. It'll be interesting with Diggers to see how many of these players stay with the club or the change is going to happen. I mean, you probably expect guys like Morton and then maybe to move on. I'm not I'm not sure 100% what's going on there, but... Uh, oh, it'll be interesting to see what they do, but... Um They've, they've obviously had a nice little successful patch. They would have hoped to have gone a bit further as yep. kick comes out. Mark's taken here by Caldone. He swings inside Ooh. to Canolo. Cut off by Mick Evans. He's Worked been really been hard today. Yep. Has a bounce. Has another. Up towards the wing. Don't argue. Oh. One. Gets past. Tries to handball into the middle of the ground. Taylor had a pretty good game today. Off to Lawton. Also played okay today. In towards Mick Evans again. He just loses the ball. Dispossessed Pressure. in the tackle. This is what Rupo's done all day. Lockie Muir inside Ford 50. They'll fly. Ball hits the deck. Ruan stayed down. He'll clean it up. And Taylor Hine will clear from defensive 50. Yes, Hine goes up towards the wing. Fruth's got uh, about two to beat. He taps it in front of himself. He gets possession. Hand passes it away, only as far as Dylan Pottlezak. Great effort by him to get up from a broken hand, gets it out to Lawton. 
Here's Freeth again, dodging, weaving. He's got Clark, who gives him a nice shepherd, and he drills a ball, and he finds Langford. And he's uh, about 75 out from goal. Chips it short, looking for McCabe. Can't take it on the chest, but recovers well. Goes on the left. Pops it up towards half forward. Waiting over the back is Taylor. He's got a little bit of time. Can he turn and go on the left boot? Fires a goal. It's the way to the left for a behind. And that's what they've been doing all day. Blazing and missing. Yes, they have. It's and the story of the day. It has a look. And it's really cost them. And they've had 16 scoring shots. For each. Each. Yep. And yet you're, you're, you're this distance behind. I mean, that, that second, uh, first half absolutely has killed oh, the club. Oh, yeah, it has. Should have and been. it's cost them a grand final berth, that inaccurate yeah. kicking, some really poor shots. 4 12 36 9 7 61, Rupertswood on the way to a grand final. 19 and a half minutes gone, Chambers finds his teammate back pocket. Rupo happy to kill some time here, diggers aren't uh, chasing too hard, it's a poor kick. Could have been turned over, but good contest out there. Hetherington picks it up and bursts through the middle of the ground. Kicks Kick. out to Nash Egan. He takes the mark, looks for the switch. Canolo out in space, takes the mark. He will settle and pop it over the top. Swallow Kick. and a teammate out here in Gip. Gip plays on quickly. Moves around Josh Wallace, just drives a little ball down towards Pottlezak. Can't pick it up, just fumbles it along in front of himself. Swallow goes in low and hard. Well done, Cannon. Does beautifully. Picks it up. Swings out wide to a teammate, Nagnello. He goes backwards to Canolo, and Canolo will find Pottlezak out on half forward. Yes, Pottlezak takes the, it. Dylan. The kid has got a broken hand and an advantage on it. He's a tough yeah, kid. He is. He's an uh, amazing effort to get up, and he goes on the left, drives it up towards a big pack of players. There's someone jumped early there. There's a free yeah, kick, surely, to Rupo. Yeah, but it was. Kills you. Oh, it's play on advantage, and Feeton just dawdles in and kicks a goal. Absolute sealer. He's got three, and uh, Rupert's Wood, they're just dancing towards the grand final now. And they're 10 7, 67, diggers rest, 4 12, 36, 20 and a half minutes gone, and the Melton Toyota Masson Rangers glass scoreboard. Yes, and the uh, diggers boys can't wait to hear the siren, I think. They, they realise it's all over for the year. Yeah, four last quarter goals here for the Sharks. They've just uh, put it away nicely. It they does. did what they had to do, they, they fought through diggers. Look, Diggers gave everything they had. They, they dominated the first half, but we sort of predicted at half time that they were going to start Tire. to run out of legs. And yeah, and a player was they in. They certainly did. Um, yeah, we're going to have a we're going to have a score review by the looks yeah, of it. Yeah, free no. kick. Someone uh, must get just go cut to in front of the square. Kroll's going to take the free kick. He'll look, he will just bomb this as long as he can inside <laughs> board 50. As he winds up now. Kicks it deep inside 50, looking for Lawton. Lawton comes up at the footy car mark. Halliwell gets the spoil. Lob does well, comes across. Kicks around his body towards McCabe inside forward 50. Ball hits the deck. Freeth comes across. It's oh, too high. Yeah. And Mark Freeth will get the shot on goal as he goes in and yeah, wants to get it to push and shove. Go get, get over Sereni out of there, boy. You've got today. a grand final next week. Yep. You've been rolled today and you've had a shock of Freethy. Just go back <laughs> and get a goal. <laughs> They've had too many players that have just come in and He's going to love game. to hear this broadcast. You've yeah. given it to him all day, Gaff. Well, yeah. uh, let's be honest, he, he has struggled today. Yes. He's put it on the way and he's kicked one. Yep, so there you yeah. go. Coming off four goals last week and he was so dangerous yeah, last week. And Junk time goal. It is. Now, a couple of minutes left, that's all that could be left. They've only had about one or two players who put in a four-quarter effort. Evans, Paris. Mickey Evans, Evans has been their best player. Evans and nearly, been nearly beat yeah. the G. But they've had yeah. too many that just come in and out of the game. Actually, uh, between both sides, Mick Evans is pretty close to best Yeah. Line. Look, Lawton really started well. He's died yeah, he off. Did. Jamie Lobbs yeah. had really zero impact That's on right. the game. So just, uh, Kegan McCabe's had zero impact on it. They I mean, go missing. Yep. It's just, yeah, they just can't afford it. Taylor Hine was okay. And then he did, uh, sorry, Taylor Hine. Um, Morton. Morton. So ball's back in the middle now. Taylor Heights had no impact. Yeah, yeah, so he's swallow, Sharks. There, there's my best on ground. Swallow. Yeah, swallow. I think he's yeah. dominated Morton today's takes game. takes it at defensive 50, goes out wide, and he finds a lob. And the two guys who said no influence have <laughs> now got some influence. Yeah, it's junk time, though, Paul. But that's a poor kick. That's a bad kick. He uh, gave uh, his teammate a bit of work to do. Langford got a hand pass over the top to Aitken. Shrugged the tackle. Ball spills out, and here go the Sharks. Oh, they've got numbers loose out on the outer side. Sultana is Shorty Hetherington's played a pretty, pretty has, good game he's too. Been good. Had a good spread. Well, we they do have to give him an award. We've got to find someone who's our best player. Oh, I'm, st I'm on Swallow. I think he, he's been massive today. Yeah. Just around those contests, he has, he's been he's absolutely in and under massive. everything. So they just go back here, the Sharks. Running down the clock, 23 minutes, 25 point lead. Got themselves in a grand final. They kick it to Hetherington. 
Yeah, he's certainly my favourite, Hetherington. I like the way. I like his game today, and I also like Brady Chambers when he yeah. needed to be won. Guess who they yeah, throw forward? Yeah, he stood up, didn't he? Kicked those goals and just made a he presence won one last up forward. Week, so so no way. goes up towards half forward now, and a mark's taken. He's going to have a oh, cup his of wife the said night. she loved the coffee, so they need another. Model Zach on the lead over his head. Sultana's roving. Can he get it on the end of it? Not quite. Clark for the bows in there. He's going to hold this up, and we'll have a ball up. 24 minutes gone. Yeah, everyone's had no. That's right. So the ground's emptying out really quick. <laughs> Except all the Rupo people, they're all down there about to get a pat the coach on the back very shortly to get them yep. into the grand final. Oh, Shark, there, there it is. is. The Sharks through to a grand final in 2017. No, I don't think they're going to pay it. No, no, no goal. So the score is 10 7 67. The Sharks 5 12 42. Diggers rest. And they're into a grand final to face the Macedon Cats, uh, Rupert's Wood. Great performance. That's going to be a cracker. Let's go to the goal kickers. We've got Brady Chambers for Rupo with two. Swallow. Who's uh, Gav's favourite for BOG? Number he got one goal. Feeton, he got three goals. Canelo one. Pottlesack two. Hetherington one. And that's for Rupo. I right, go over to the borough. Freethy got one. Wright got one. Kroll got one. And Evans got two. And which is a disappointing day for the borough to finish the year like that. Absolutely, yeah. They had it in in their hands yep. in the, the second quarter. They just weren't able to capitalise, as we've mentioned. Goal yeah. kicking cost them a grand final spot. And it's look, it's going to be an absolute crack. And two of the look, they are the best two teams all year. Yeah. They're in the grand final. They both deserve to they be do. there. They're both running sides. If we get a dry day next Oof. week, oh, it is going to be a oh, game on. And you know, everyone says Masson are a step above everyone else. If Rupo can play the football, we know they can play. The Cats are going to have their work cut out, and that's for sure. Going to be an absolute cracker. Best players, let's touch through them. Oh, look, I really like. Like the job, um, oh, the diggers. for diggers, uh, it's too bad to diggers. I mean, Freethy's had a dirty day, Lob had a bit of a... Lawton in the first half yep. was really good for him. Um, McCabe had McCabe had an Egan tried hard for them. Evans, I think, was uh, without oh, doubt was best. probably the best. And I nearly would give him on best on ground, but he's he's in a losing side, so you've got to be a little bit harsh on him. A bit of pay a penalty. Shoot over to Rupo. Um, Gav's favourite, Swallow, certainly was effective all day. Yep. I mean... Sultana, the young kid, I thought he was good down forward too. Hetherington, I liked his game. Um, but let, I, I, let, I'll agree with you, Gav. Yeah, I don't I often do swallow, that. Yeah. I'm going to give you the, the rights here and say <laughs> yeah, Swallow was yeah, the best I'm player. I'm happy with that. He was consistent over the four quarters, Swallow, yeah. and uh, really started. So for drive. the Sharks now, we're looking forward to next week, obviously. You move straight ahead and look at next week. Yep. Does Deep Part Part play? Yes. Yeah, I reckon you risk you've it. Just gotta, you've just got to. You've got to take the option because otherwise Tommy Waters is going to dominate around. Well, we saw what Waters did once. Yeah, yeah that's on. right. He yeah, dominated and, and, and he putts seventy percent. Even if they, even if they pinch hit him in the ruck and put him forward and the free Toddy Pottles act to play a bit higher. Just remember, it's not as big a ground, Romsey ground. If you got Dean Putt down forward, um, he can create an awful lot of trouble yep. for him. If he's seventy percent and they think he can get the game through, he's got to play. And how good is it for the Sharks to just be able to throw Chambers forward? Well, and that's a great that's ace the other up the sleeve, too. But it? once you've got a so game, I mean, it's time to win the game. Yep. And, you, and, and you've got their forwards. Because really, diggers have no key forwards, yep. let's be honest. I um, mean, he was just floating around. To put him down there, I mean, he took a hanger kick. Two goals in the last quarter. He, look, he's the most versatile footballer we got in Riddle District footy. Brady Chambers got down there. He just settled down. He virtually won the game for him. Oh, again. he did. He kicked those couple of goals and pre presented really well. So the well. Pallet Cafe player of the day, Gav? Brett Swallow. Brett Swallow from, from the Rupert's oh, the number seven player. So we'll give it to Brett Swallow. Well done. And let's thank our sponsors, which is Macedon Rangers, Glass, Brett Vernon, the boys, and his little replay people. Very, very happy clapping their players off the ground. And let's not forget Melton Toyota. Go to Melton Toyota. You'll catch up with them at Melton Toyota in High Street, Melton. Some very happy, smiling-looking players. Yes, and all the coaching staff are telling me how, what they think of my tips throughout the year, but they we did tip Rupo, well, every all of us yeah, today, we did. so we got it right for once. fantastic effort for them. So. And they've got two teams in the finals, that just shows the power of that football club.